Jordan Murray here, and welcome back to Playerway Gaming Podcast, episode 11. I know what episode it is because I just uploaded the last episode today. Uh, I was a little late to that, but uh, it's fine. You guys are getting three episodes this week because when, why the heck not? Um, we're back, of course. Uh, we do this podcast because, of course, we love games, and if you love games, this is a place to be because we just want to talk about things we love, no negativity, no picking sides. We just talk about the thing we love. And that's video games. So, I'm here joined with uh, Amab Axu, of course. What's up? How's it going, guys? How you doing? I'm, we're back at it again. Uh, we were here uh, Friday, and now it's Monday, so we're going back at it again. And around. today is the first episode <clears throat> of our road to... What, what do we want to call it? We want to call it... Uh... Event season. I don't know. Oh my god! Dude, I... F- dude... I I was listening to a podcast and somebody called this new summer like event season that they, they, they called it something and I'm like that is like it's a hilarious name but it kind of works so you know how like everybody makes fun of Jeff Keeley right Keeley so it's instead of E3 it's Key 3 All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and step <laughs> out. I think uh, I think uh, John Scott can take the, the <laughs> reins. Um, <clears throat> wow, you are five years old, and I respect it. <laughs> you know, uh, do you, man? Just do do you? Look, let's uh, just call it Summer Games Fest. I mean, that's pretty. Much, I'm I'm pretty sure in the future that's what's just gonna end up being. Like everything's gonna be under the Summer Games Fest thing, and that's just how it's gonna work. Um, yeah. But, anyway, the Summer Showcases, we're on the road there, so this episode we're going to be looking at, specifically, Summer Games Fest opening night, like the the, the, the very first event that is basically full of third-party stuff, all that whatnot. Uh, we're going to be looking at that event and giving our predictions, and then in the coming episodes, we're going to be taking a look at each individual pub publisher's um, showcase and giving our predictions on all that. But, also, today we're also just going to be going over some news and some just talking points about some games um and so we're gonna go ahead and start with tradition even though we almost pretty much broke it last time but we're, we're going back to tradition and uh I repeat that. I, yeah I he repeat did that. he did I didn't, I didn't say anything at the beginning just because i thought he was going to so i don't know I how i forgot last time like, i really don't remember like it's it's because because it, low-key if you really think about it you you're you're not used to it. You're used to you're you know your boy Christian being on here being I like, know. what have you played? It's it's different. Christian so Christian it. will come back eventually. Everybody just just so you know. Yeah, he's uh um, he's just very hard he, to get a hold of right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, also I think he had to move aside because he knew I was coming through. True, and true, I, true. I'm coming in with that. I'm coming in with that heat. So, <laughs> coming in with that special sauce. I don't know if he can keep up with me, bro. Sometimes I got some energy. I'm feeling good today. I brought some energy with me today, so. All right, well then, bring the energy. What have you been playing, my boy? Oh man, what I've what have I been playing? I haven't had a whole lot of time since the last podcast, but I played. Same, same. Um, I have been playing uh, two games specifically. Uh, I've been playing more Stellar Blade. Uh, I sunk about five, six hours in. Um, nice, nice. It's, oh man, it, it's really fun. It's, I, I'm not at the point where, like, I'm loving it, but I still, I really like it. Yeah. Um, it, it's super fun. I think my only grudge with it is I'm, I feel like there there really needs to be more, like, enemy designs, because you're mm. kind of fighting the same things over again. Mm. Um, but besides that, man, I don't really have much of an issue. It's, dude, the combat is so addicting. Mm. It's, like, it's, it's crazy. Um, and my only other thing is, and I haven't been quite, like, vocal about it, I always had fears that the story kind of wasn't going to feel that great, but I feel like it's hard to really knock down the game for its story whenever it's not really supposed to be a story-driven kind of game. I mean, Shift Up pretty much came out and said, like, it's like 80% gameplay, 20% story. So it's like, I feel like it's really hard to kind of take everything and like really criticize it for its story when it doesn't even feel like it tries to. It it feels like it's setting something up for a sequel, which I do hope it gets a sequel from what I've played so far because I I think it has something special that can make it amazing. Um, 
and I actually looked into like the history of the studio and like the fact that it's their first game. No, um, it's not. From a well, like from a because they were a mobile studio. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Their next yeah, game is gonna be mo- like, mo- mobile as well, which is really sad. It's it's gonna no, it's gonna be everything: PC, PlayStation, and uh, mobile. Interesting. It's gonna be a gotcha gotcha game, which I'll pass, bro. Uh, I I figured out what they what they made before Stellar Blade, and honestly, it's a really big hit as well. So I, I've been really enjoying it. I'm hoping to finish it. Um, hopefully within the next week or so. Um, that's been super fun. Uh, cool. Definitely recommend. Um, and then I've been playing Hellblade, and uh, I've got some words for Hellblade. Do you, uh, do, do you finish it? No, I I still have a little bit left. Um, I'm on the trials right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but I, I have some words for Hellblade. Okay. So... I want everyone to know if the sequel is somehow better than this you know if they fix a couple things that bother me just a little bit it could be one of my favorite games of all time because the more I play the more I really start to love it uh, which is funny because I don't know what is happening in the story right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I feel it. I'm do. I I know. I completely understand. I completely. Like I've played it twice now, and I still don't understand. To be honest with you. Like I, I legit, like have thought because I really want to understand, and I've I've been trying super hard, but like the cinematography is just so beautifully like beautifully produced, and I I, I just have such a hard time like figuring this stuff out like i legit i was like as it kept going i was just like dude i i want to look up like a lore video because i'm trying so hard to pay attention um and and dude i'll tell you you play with headphones i did oh i did play with some i did play with some headphones man they'd be whispering your ears (laughs) yeah yeah you hear that you hear that joint click crystal clear bro yep sometimes i hear them so clear they'd be making me mad bro i'd be like can you shut up dog? <laughs> like you got one girl in your left ear you get you got this other girl in your right ear and then you got this guy he's like don't do it and i'm like okay bro <laughs> and, 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 and then after that you got this man being like accept the darkness i'm like bro you don't get out of my ear like i'm just <laughs> um but no man i dude i i don't know like I, I have this feeling where it's, like, sometimes it just takes a minute to really, like, sink in for me. But, dude, when when it, like, when these cinema, like, cinematography moments really hit, holy lord, do they hit. And if the sequel is going to focus more on that and just, my one thing is I, I just really want them to hone in on that because I don't even care if it's, mostly not even playing bro like i i can just sit back and i'll be I feel like that. i'll just i'll just watch this i feel that know? like it's it reminds me a lot of like 16 and how i feel where it's like most of the time if like a cut scene happens i just lay back relax i'm like whew, ready to experience peak like it's kind of how i feel with this game a bit um i'm dude i'm really excited for the sequel like i i know i, I like I don't know. I, I'm really excited. I I have a lot of faith in it that it's going to blow me away. Um, mm-hmm. And it, it, it could be up there for me. If they do some things right and change some things, I think it could be up there in some of my favorite games ever. Um, not to say, like, Hellblade, like, it is, but I think if they go in a certain direction uh, with it, I, I think it, it definitely could because... Um, it, I just see the potential there, and when it when it focuses on that one aspect that I really enjoy, which I've always talked about when the trailer came out, I love psychological um, mm. kind of themes, uh, and when they when they do it so well, I, I'm I'm blown away every time. I'm inspired because I'm like, oh my lord! Like, you know, psychological aspects are so they have they're so deep, and they they really hit hard because 
it's sometimes things you've never experienced, sometimes mm-hmm. you have experienced. And I think it's so interesting to see how you can twist psychological aspects in so many different ways. And I love how, like, Hellblade takes this aspect and it's so weird because, like, you would think, like, why would you want to be confused? But I love being confused because mm-hmm. it makes me want to keep thinking. And I've gotten to the point where, like, I, I would replay the game again to experience it just because I want to figure out, like, I want to figure out, you know, what is happening. And mm-hmm. it's just so interesting. I, I can't stop thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I honestly, with the game right now, I'm sitting at, like, probably, like, a solid 8 out of 10. I mean, yep. I I don't – there are, like, some complaints I have, but, man, if they touch up some things, oh, man, it, it could – and, like, re-watching the trailer again today, I was like – Oh, oh this, did you watch the launch game. trailer that came out today? I was at work. I didn't have a lot of time. Oh, I saw thirty seconds of it, and I heard, dude. I heard a little bit of the song. Oh, the I song is. Oh my gosh, dude! It's it's amazing. It is. I, know, I need to watch it. I need to watch it after the podcast. Oh, dude, it is so good. Uh, dude, they they show some uh, areas in in that trailer, so that we haven't seen in trailers before. And I'm I legit went like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was like, yo, that is awesome. Um, Dude, I, oh man, I'm excited. I, yeah. I, I'm just glad it sounds like you know. Well, we'll get into that later. But um, I was gonna say it sounds like they're doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, but no, nah, man, I I enjoy it. Um, that's about that's awesome. It, really, though, cool, so. awesome. Um, well, I have also been playing. Well, I also finished Hell Hellblade this weekend. Uh, I finished it last Ooh. night. Wait, hold on, dude. My sleep should have been so smoothed up. Was it? It was, dude. I don't even know what time I finished it. It might have been, bro, bro. Just say you finished it, dog, and run with it. Yeah, it was. It was. I think it was Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say Sunday. I think so. Uh, well, I, I finished it like someday th- th- this weekend, um, for my second time. Um. And I'm glad you you, you you pointed out a few things that I, I was going to touch on uh, as well, which is really good. Um, so, yeah, I guess this is like my 2024 review of it. Um, seven years later, which is crazy. Uh, can't believe that game is seven years old. It's ridiculous. Um, it is kind of crazy. And an indie studio. Like, that's just, that's insane. Dude, it, it oh man. I, like, just thinking about it, like, I can't get over the cinema. I know. It's it's I, the best part. I don't, you know, I did see a tweet a long time ago of uh, an early preview of saying it's going to be one of the best looking games ever. I, I think so. I think it might be. Oh, facts. Dude, man, I, I, it could be my favorite looking game of all time. I mean, Yeah, it, facts. Oh, boy. It, golly. Yeah. Um, but, so, um... Man, I completely lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so the, the, the first thing I want to say to your uh, to your part about the like story and everything, um, I completely agree with you. Like the the, the story just it, it it's so confusing and complex that like it's so hard to make sense of what's actually going on. But like it's there's still this feeling of like you kind of know what's going on, but like nothing makes sense. Like you, you, you know what's happening, but it doesn't make sense, right? So, yeah. so it kind of leaves this like mystery, but like to the point where you're not just like confused to annoyance, if yeah. if it, if if that that makes sense. Um, but yeah. what, what 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 I what I I've no, known this since playing it my my first time, but I I think just from everything I've heard about the second one and from replaying it, it it it, it is not really about the overarching story it is completely about senua like it is yeah. it, it is her story it, it is her journey from <clears throat> from start to f- to finish and i'm hoping that's what the second one is going to be as well uh, because 
the, all the high praise you are giving it right now is crazy because I'm I I, I ain't even gonna lie to you, Chief. You haven't even reached what I believe to be one of the best endings in gaming history. Oh really? Oh, I oh, I have. So the ending, the ending cooks. I well, last podcast I said I'm I'm like a, at an eight out of ten. I take that back after finishing the game game again because I remembered that there was no almost no ending in any other video game that makes me feel a certain way like the ending of Hellblade 1 does. Um, and the only game I can kind of compare it to, and I'm going to say this without giving any spoilers, the only game I can kind of compare it to of where I just had a feeling that, like, I did not even know how to understand the feeling I had after finishing it, was a Plague Tale Requiem. That, that's, like, the only game I can kind of compare it to, but even then, it's so different from that. It's, it's really hard. Um, it, it really is one of the best endings. Like, it really leaves you thinking and just... And I know you you love doing it whenever you watch like a great movie or something or like you you see something you just like sit there and just start like just like oh, yeah. re, re rethinking reality and everything just like yeah. that it, it it is one of those endings. Dude, it, it feels amazing. Like yeah, I don't know why, but that feeling just feels so good. Like for me, like movie wise, that was like across the Spider Verse for me. Like I was just like, wow, yeah, like, how, yeah. Like, <laughs> Like what? Mm-hmm. Uh, um, but like so, I no longer think it's a eight out of ten because when I, when I think about eight out of ten, I would put that in like the B tier, kind of. Really? I I would say probably. I mean, yeah, I would say eight out of ten's B tier, right? I don't know. I mean, really, for you, I mean, I think to me, like seven is like where I cut it at B. Oh, okay. E. Uh, well. To me, to me, it's an A tier game. To me, it's an A A tier game. Yeah. See, I don't like numbers. I'd rather do letters. Than yeah. Numbers. I I I'm not, I'm not, I think I I think that's how I'm gonna be doing reviews for now because I've yet to do a review with my whole rebrand. So I think my first one for Hellblade Two, I'm gonna switch it to like a letter scale. Uh, yeah, I like that I, idea. I I don't. That's my thing. Is like I said, just real quick. I don't like. I think it's also just because there's so much controversy behind numbers. Yeah. If it's like a seven, people just think it's bad. It's like I'd rather just give it a letter scale. But I also think like because there are so many games that, like I I'm gonna say like uh, Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope for for instance. Like I don't think that's a ten out of ten game, but like yeah, like I would say it's like eight point five like around there, but yeah. I would put it in S tier. Yeah. So it's like, to me, it's like a tier can mean a lot of different things. Whereas like a number, everyone's just gonna look at that num number objectively. You know what I mean? So yeah. I, I think I think I think the the tiers went on my. But anyway, Hellblade One, I'm saying is like an A tier game. I think it's oh, no, I agree. Yeah, I I, I, I think agree. it's an A tier game. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, that ending is just oh my gosh, it is one of the dude. It's it's I cannot wait for you to. I'm I, I'm just expecting right now you're like it, whether it's after this podcast or like tomorrow morning before you start Hellblade two, I'm 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 just expecting a text like, what did I just what like, what <laughs> yeah literally like you you're you're like gonna be speechless it's it's amazing, um, and I think that that makes that that makes me even more excited for Hellblade two because I don't know where the heck it's gonna go. <laughs> Like, I don't know what I, I story they are going to tell, to be honest with you. I think it's a good thing. Definitely. That's a great thing. You, you, don't, you don't know what they were going to tell whenever the first one came out? Uh, he, he, well, yeah, because no one knew. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, but there's some, there's the be there's some beauty in it. There is. There is. Um, but, yeah, I absolutely love it. Now, again, my, my, my biggest complaints about, about the game are um, the combat for me. Uh, which I think the combat's actually solid. It, it just, I uh, it, it it does get repetitive. Like it, it does yeah, get repetitive. That's like the only problem I, I, I have with the combat. I, I think it's also a little janky. It times. is. It is. Uh, 
I feel like it. it it's it like clunky. Like, it, it it feels clunky a little bit. The the way I like to describe it is, um, the the combat it has like the formula. Yeah. But it doesn't have. It, it's like fifty percent like done. Yeah. That's kind of how it feels. Like it has the base, and it's just you just you it's, just need everything else. It feels like a beta, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, so I really hope that the combat is... I'm not going to say, like, it has to be the greatest combat system, because it doesn't. Like, it, it, but I, I do think that they need to up it in some way, and I really hope that they, yeah. they do. Um, and then my my other big um, complaint is, like, the the, the thing we, we talked about last time, is some, some puzzles in some areas kind of just seem like... They kind of just like force it into there, like, and it's yeah. not actually needed there. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of moments where, like, I, I, so I think pacing, I like pacing it. is what I'd say. Yeah, yeah, pacing. It's like they have this momentum, and then it's just like, oh yeah, here's four puzzles in a row. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Bro, like four. Mm -hmm. Not even like, like okay, two at mo, but four. Yeah. I'm like, bro. But then, like, when you do all the puzzles, it's so worth it, because then it's just like, all right, here's cinema. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, but I will say, the puzzles are re rewarding. Like, I like the puzzles. E even though, like, I don't like where, where they put them sometimes, the puzzles are good. Like, they, they are very good puzzles. Um, hey, man, you'll be proud of me. I've only had to look up two. Hey, let's go. Um, One of them I feel really ashamed. Uh. There, you know the the section where you have to like align, uh, a just symbol. like, well, not like multiple different. Uh, you have to you have to have like two or three, uh, that literally like are right in front of each other, and they both like shoot towards the door. Yeah. So it flashes, so it can open. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's one of them where I couldn't figure out how to get to the other side of a wall. And um, I was just running around, and I just kept looking at the door instead of looking to my left, because you go up a, a thing of stairs, and I kept looking right at the door, because I'm like, I want to get over there, but you can't go from the left side. So I never looked to my left, and then maybe after, like, ten minutes, I'm like, let me look up a guide, and I, I follow it, and the guy just looks left, and I'm like, oh my god, there's an opening here. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> like, and then I figured everything else out on my own. So that's funny. Um, I, I will say one thing. Um, I you know fighting enemies like it is clunky, but one thing I I, I do like is I do kind of like uh the bosses they put. I do think those. Oh are yeah, pretty funny. yeah, yeah. I I think that is really cool. And like I said, I still think that could need some work, but. I enjoy that way more than fighting the other guys. Like, they have different moves. I feel like I'm actually, like... I don't think the game is that hard. No. But when I when I played against those, like, it it feels... It gives a little bit more of a challenge, yeah. and I think that's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I absolutely love it. Um, I, I just... Hopefully the second one can somehow improve. Um... But I, I think it, I think it will. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. excited. I, I hope it blows me away. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I low key like, it's so weird. How this game has like, built up in my head because I remember when they first announced it, I was like, oh, okay, it's not like the Xbox exclusive I would expect, but there it is. But then o over time, and then I actually played the first one in like 2020. Uh, no, it was like 2021. It was like really early 2021. Um, I I really really liked it. Um, and then and then I was like, okay, you know what? I, I, I am kind of excited for for the C sequel. Uh, and then the more we had to wait, the kind of the more I got excited. And then they like showed more trailers and stuff. And then I got like really excited. But then we like reach this point where it's like, okay, how long do we have to wait for this? And then so my excitement kind of started to go 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 down a little bit because it it, it got to the point where it's like, okay, you guys should not have announced it when you you did because that was yeah. like five years ago. 
Um, yeah, but the, the, that's the Xbox it thing, is. though. Is like they're they're at this point they've announced like every single game ever, and they're at least like five years in development already. Oh yeah, like, yeah. But then um, but, but we're we're getting to a point where they're actually gonna come out though. Yeah, so. yeah. And then um, and then like recent, especially like this year, a lot of just bad news for Xbox has started to happen. So like my my excitement for it has then started to go down even further. Uh, like, if you would have asked me at the end of last year, like, Hellblade 2 is probably my, like, top, like, top three, may maybe even top top two games for anticipated. Now it's, like, in my top, top five. But this, the these last two two weeks, or no, this, like, last week, my excitement has, like, low-key been, been, like, uh, like this. <laughs> low-key. Uh, my, my excitement is is very I'm, I'm i'm very very excited like where i actually haven't been this excited to play a game in a while actually um to a point where like i almost sacrificed not playing at 60 frames per second to play it today because i could have gone on my xbox yeah. and put a new, new new zealand time on it and i probably could have played it but i was like ah but do i want the better experience and I could just wait one more day and get get the better experience. So I'm like, so that's what I did. But I, I am very very excited for it. And just hearing that one uh, in, uh, interview that we were talking about last time got me way more excited. Seeing this launch trailer that is absolutely amazing uh, today uh, got me even more excited. And then I'm not gonna lie, the uh, the post that Nin Ninja Theory had today also got got me very very excited. Except I I just love how terrible Twitter is. Um, it's, it, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, oh, okay, bro. I, I mean, I'm not surprised, like, people, because even I, like, in my, I knew it wasn't, but in my heart, I was like, the timing is a little, yeah. um, well, it, okay. I, I think it's, the, I think, I think it's the timing a little bit. It's just like, oh, it, hold on, guys, a day before we release, buy our game, you know, like. You should buy our game. You should play yeah. it. Like, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. It's probably fine. I I think it's just scary because you know the whole Xbox stuff. But. Yeah. I I've just like after hearing yeah. all these things and everything, and after watching the trailer and seeing the post, it just the game is just screaming confidence to to me. Like it, it's yeah. it's just screaming confidence, and I love when games do that because it makes me go into the game very confident and. And, but but it's like not like a confident where like I expect it to blow me away, uh, like more of like a confident that okay I know this is gonna be a polished experience, I know that it's gonna be like I'm gonna see passion in it, uh, and it, it's just like that kind of confidence where like okay, I'd be shocked if I end up not liking it, type thing. Not like okay I expect this to be one of the best games ever. I don't have that that expectation. I would love for that to be the case. But I don't have that expectation. It's the confidence of. I'd be shocked if I do not like it, um, type yeah. type thing. Um, not, not I get that man. We'll we'll see we'll see what they do tomorrow at eleven, maybe. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say like eleven thirty a a.m. I'm gonna be starting it. We're doing. I'm probably gonna hit like a four or five hour stream to kick kick it off. We're gonna play for four or five hours straight. It's going to be great. And then I'm going to take a break, probably hit the gym, get some food, okay. and then come back and do another four or five hour stream to finish it off. Sounds good, brother. So I might low-key beat the game in one day. And here's the thing. If if we do that, if, if I somehow beat it in b before Wednesday, I'll probably run it back. If I like <laughs> it. If I like it, of course. Yeah. So... Bro, bro said, "If I, dude, if I, if I like it, man, run it back again. Let me, let me re-experience this." Oh yeah. Uh, but then I also played another game this weekend. No rest for the wicked. Oh, Ain't yeah. no rest for the wicked. <laughs> uh, um. Okay. So. I don't know if you, you saw Austin, but I, I, I posted a tweet about it. 
uh, the morning I, I don't played remember, it. I, I, don't, I don't remember what you said, but I, I remember you were talking about it, and it, it was pretty... Hold on, I'll, I'll pull it up, and I'll read it. Cause yeah, go ahead and re- read it for the audience. I, I, I posted a tweet. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, this was uh, tweeted by at Johnny, uh, at Johnny Murr. On at Instagram. underscore Johnny Murr? Uh, did I not say underscore? No. I didn't. Uh, sorry, at underscore Johnny Murr, two days ago. No Rest for the Wicked is definitely one of those games where I think it's one of the best games. While not necessarily my favorite, still love it so far, though. Barely scratched the surface, it feels like. Yeah. So, I have... Uh, see, I don't know. It's, it, it, talking about this game is going to be very hard. Because, let me preference, I've only put in about two hours. Okay, so when I say I've barely scratched the surface, I really mean that. Like, I really feel like I've barely scratched the surface. I have a weird feeling with this game where I don't know if I can say I love it yet, right? But immediately after I made that that tweet, and then while I was at work that day, because I, I made that tweet before I went into work. While I was at work, I started getting this, like, feeling of, like, yo, I low-key want to go home and, like, grind that game. Because it is a grind-heavy game, I've come come to realize. It is a very grind, it is a very grind-heavy game. Um, and it's kind of challenging. It, it is a challenging game. Uh, like it is low key a Diablo Souls like, um, it's not like really? it's not brutal to the point where you're dying every second, but yeah. you do die a lot. <laughs> um, and but like it's not brutal to the point where you have to like redo everything. Once you kill an enemy, if you end up dying l- later, that enemy's still dead, so you you no. you you don't like have to restart everything. Um, mm-hmm. it so it it's it's just hard, but it's not like. A, like ridiculous, like brutal. Um, yeah. Uh, it it just has has a a, a skill curve. That th- that's really it. But then it is also very grind heavy. So it's like I was really liking it because l- let me just say it is visually, which no surprise here. It's from the Ori team. It is visually just oh my gosh, outstanding. Holy moly, it is just so visually stunning. Um. And the gameplay does feel really crisp. Like, it feels heavy. Like, when you swing your your uh, weapons and w- when you hit enemies, it really feels like you're packing a punch. And, like, you are really hitting those suckers. Like, it, it, it really is some crispy combat. I ain't gonna lie. Um, my... The, the big reason... And which is why I say right now, as of right now, and I've barely scratched the surface, I think it, like, I think it's going to be one of those games where I'm like, yo, this is just master class design and creative achievement. Because the visuals are stunning, the music's great, the combat is so crisp. Um, but the, the biggest thing is, and this completely took me by shock, I, like... In just those two hours, there were like t- like ten times where I was like, "What? It, like, this is insane!" And it's the map. The map is insane. Like, I I can't even explain it. You you'd kind of have to play it y- yourself. Yeah. But it is somehow so compact, and there are so many different routes to find everything. It's almost like a Metroidvania. Where you have to like go one route to then unlock this tool that then you have to go all the way back to get through an area you couldn't previously get to to unlock another tool to then do this other thing to then unlock another. And so it's kind of but it happens all in this little area and every time you do it you're like you, you get to a new area in that little area they're like. That was there the whole time. It was there the whole time, but you had no idea. And, and it, it's just like, dude, how much stuff did they fit 
in this little area. And it all it, it's all just very cohesive. To a point where I'm like, dude, how I would have gone through a headache trying to design this little map. Because and it's just like an island. I've just I'm still stuck in an island. Um, it just feels so open. It feels like you can explore so much and there's so much to to do. My, but and but that also leads to my big biggest problem is it can get very tedious because it's not the fastest game in the world. And so going all the way back to one spot then sometimes turns out to not be the area you were supposed to go to. So then you got to go all the way to another area. And it, it, it it's very just time consuming. And then you do have to fight really tough enemies and if you die you go all the way back to the next check the last checkpoint which then you have to run all the way back so it's like it's a very tedious grind but when you get to that new area and when you reach that that next enemy like for instance i'm at the first boss i'm at like what everyone would consider your first like souls boss pretty much like i'm i'm there and it was so rewarding finally getting there. And I, I've gotten the boss really, really low. And so when I left it there, I went to work and I was like, I low-key kind of want to go home and grind up some XP, level up my character, find some new weapons, and take out that dang boss. And so while while it was very te tedious, and while like I wasn't loving every second of it, I do think over time, the farther I get into the game, I'm going to like it more and more. Um, but I do think starting off with very weak weapons, no armor, no currency, no nothing, no idea how the game works or plays, it, 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 I feel like it is a struggle to get through that, those first two hours because it, 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 it it's so just open. Um, but that's my, that's my, my thought on it. That's my thought on it. Sounds like a sounds like a pretty good game to me, but uh, I mean, what else to expect from the same team that made Ori? I know, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely. I mean, even from the first trailer of seeing it, like I, I think me and you both like knew, like, wow, this game looks um, this game looks uh, crazy. Oh yeah. Well, and, and you know what's so funny? Even though it's a completely different di different genre. You can kind of feel some Ori stuff in it because, like, yeah. there, you have like a dash or like a like a barrel roll or like a sprint, yeah. wh whatever. That feels very Ori esque uh, to me. Like, well, whenever I do that, that bro, did you just break your mic stand? Uh, it just popped out. Hold on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god, right. we got. There we go. I got it, man. We're all good. All right. Sorry. The sock safe. Okay. Shut the. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh my gosh. Don't expose me, even though they can obviously tell. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they're listening. I'll get a pop filter. I'm a. I'm going on Amazon right now. I have a pop filter. I should probably use it. Yo, to be honest. I should probably use it. Oh, but... yeah. I mean, dang. <laughs> 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 All right, move it, on. move it on. Um, dang it, bro. Uh, I'm sorry, it just slipped out of me, you know. But yeah, like the, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the combat is very Ori esque. Like it, it feels and yeah. looks like Ori combat just from a different cam camera angle. That's like really what it feels like, um, and which is okay because the combat is one of my favorite parts in Ori. So I'll take it. pretty good man um sounds like we've both been playing two games unless you've been playing something else but no i think that's it <laughs> bro, bro, bro was looking to be but like, tomorrow tomorrow i uh help they do send you a saga yep oh, i'm super excited you're gonna be all over that i'm gonna be oh um, yeah i'm i'm just excited to play anything like i just I, I feel so good. I'm just ready to play everything. Uh, my life was horrible, and today I woke up, I feel like a new person. 
uh, cause things are actually going right for me for once. So now I can focus on me and I'm ready to, dude, I just, I'm so motivated to play. Like I actually want to play stuff. So it feels good. So I'm ready to, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to grind. So I'm thinking yes, honestly, I might, might, might get, might make this gaming PC, uh, an actual gaming PC. I may be willing to spend a little bit just to upgrade this bad boy. So, we'll see. All right. All right. Let's uh get into the actual podcast. Is there is there is there any news um uh, we have to cover? Not uh, really because it was the weekend, right? I mean, nothing really happened on the weekend. Bro, there's a decent chunk. Really? Like even stuff that we didn't Oh yeah, uh, the uh, N- Nintendo thing that you you sent. Well, that that just happened. I could go over some like, dude. There's honestly like a good chunk. Go like, it. Just sh- shoot, shoot. Okay. Um. I guess we, we might as well go into it. Uh. Ju- I mean, I I guess just to get out the way. Um. Just because I've already talked about me playing it. Uh. uh shift up. Uh. Basically, kind of. Uh talking about like their next game coming out uh which is supposed to be their next project is already in development uh scheduled i think they said for like 2027 or 2028 Mm -hmm. is what they said uh 2027 yeah which is a long time uh well i mean 23 years years, but I, i don't know and the thing about it is they confirmed it's going to playstation uh, mobile and PC. Uh, it's gonna be a gotcha game, which I don't really want to play it then, because they're also known for, uh, Nikkei, or I probably mispronounced that incredibly hard. It's just N-I-K-K-E, but I don't know how they pronounce that. Uh, but that is a huge mobile game that I see all the time. Uh, is a gotcha game, uh, like, um, Genshin? Is, uh, it, is it like Genshin? Uh, uh, yes. Oh, okay. A gotcha game is basically... Gotcha so- money! <laughs> Sorry. That quite literally, that should just be the slogan of yeah. like gotcha games. Yeah. It's basically so in Japan, ga- gambling's not allowed. Yeah, uh, gambling is actually like straight up just illegal. So, it, and this is quite stupid. Like, oh, Japan, that's why in Big Hero Six, that bot fighting was illegal. That makes so much sense now. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Look, all my real ones know what I'm talking about. Okay. I, I sure, homie. Um, <laughs> all right. So, so gotcha. A little bit of facts for you guys. So yes, gambling is banned in Japan. So, of course, there is still a way to gamble. They came up with a way to do it, and it's it's so stupid. I hate it so much. Basically, it's like. You can't get actual money from gambling. So they made gotcha, which is like you win you win points to get prizes. And it's kind of like that, but for video games, instead of getting money in return, you spend a lot of money and you get a prize or an item or let's say in Genshin terms, you spend a lot of money to hopefully get, you know, like a character or like a five star or something like that. That's kind of what gotcha is. It's like, it's it's basically Japan's own term of like when Call of Duty started doing like loot crates and stuff like that, mm. or supply drops and stuff. Um, I'm not really interested in it, uh, but I also know they talked about uh, they are considering a, a sequel to Stellar Blade, and uh, also putting it on PC, um, which. I do think there should be a sequel because I've heard so far the game has exceeded expectations. Um, and even without having it on PC yet, I already knew it was going to be a hit because it had controversy. And at this rate, any game that has controversy is just going to do well. I mean, just literally last week we talked about um, Assassin's Creed and how much controversy that has. It literally was, like, the most pre-ordered game on PlayStation. Like, for... And it, that's, it's just how it is. Like, the, the more controversy, it's just, like, it's going to end up doing well. 
Um, but then, like, critics will just ignore it, like what happened in the Game Awards for Hogwarts, you know, the most successful game and no nomination. So it's like, it doesn't matter, but it, it's just funny to me how it, so much controversy can get something so big. But um, I do think, it, I think there's a lot of potential for it. Uh, to get a sequel, I would really like if it did, even if I haven't finished it, because I really think if they put a, a really well written story behind it, um, I think it could be really something special. And I think the only other things. I've heard uh, real quick, that- sorry everybody, I just realized uh, when I was editing the last podcast, Austin's voice was kind kind of low. You can still oh, really? he he hear him, uh, but it was low. Uh, I just raised it like literally just now, so. He should be oh. crystal clear now. Okay. Well, I didn't know that. But, no, um, you're good. But, yeah, I think just I'd, I'd like to see a sequel. I think the things I'd like to see them work on is really hone in on a story. Uh, and uh, I haven't heard it because I played in um, – I decided to play in, uh, like, South Korean. Uh, like, I, I chose Korean because uh, I heard the English – is like the voice acting is kind of kind of rough uh i haven't heard it but i just chose uh south korean because of that um but i'm not really gonna like say much because i haven't heard it but um i will say i saw you pick that up that is that is terrifying (laughs) (laughs) um speaking of which we'll get to him later i'm actually gonna bring up something funny actually right after this i'm gonna do that because it's funny um but uh, and then also going to PC, that is, Stellar Blade going to PC might be one of the greatest decisions ever made and also one of the worst Oh decisions. my gosh, I just thought about it. Yeah, that is terrible. It, it, it is, it is it, a blessing and a curse. Bro, Stellar Blade going to PC makes me look like this. <laughs> Sorry. D- d- bro, bro Loki, that's how everywhere, dude. <laughs> I, I'm I'm telling you, bro. If 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 P if that game goes to PC, it's done, bro. It where it's <laughs> dude, it's done. I mean, you don't you won't need us. You won't need a photo mode. People just go make their own photo mode. Like, okay, bro. We get it, dog. We we get it. That that's how the whole community finna act if Stellar Boy goes to PC, dude. Which I, that's gonna be me too. I, I may have to cop it. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Um, <laughs> he doesn't but, know. Uh, it. uh but how long are we gonna do this for? <laughs> uh. Um, but uh, I'm just trying to stay focused and honed in. Um, but no, I, I think that's pretty good. I think putting it in stop. I think putting it <laughs> on PC, uh, as much as like as cursed as I know it's going to be. I don't really care just because I feel like the game should get more success. And honestly, like if putting it on there is going to allow them to, uh, get bigger budgets and, you know, uh, hone out more of what they want to work on because the studio really sounds like they want to start cracking down on, uh, more IP, uh, besides that. And it sounds like they have a lot of plans for what they want to do. Um, and I know they've already talked about, like, potentially DLC for uh, Stellar Blade and also uh, new content. Uh, so I I really hope to see the best from them. And I think whatever they choose to do, I think it's a smart decision. And I think they know pretty much what they're doing. I think they know their audience so well. And from, like, reading um, their interviews and stuff, they, they are a very passionate team. Like, the, it just shows in the way they talk about how they – created games and the process of it i I, they really remind me of just a very passionate studio that does whatever they want they don't care what anybody thinks which i love so i think it's very nice awesome love to hear it yeah still blade uh it's a game that i think looks really good and i've heard really good things about um it was just the uh, timing of its release uh was just when i was not playing anything and um, I, I just knew I wouldn't get to it, um, so I just kind of skipped out on it, um, just to yeah. wait on it. Uh, but I, I do plan on playing it before the year's over. Um, I will say that. Um, yeah. Probably just gonna grab it whenever it go goes in sale. Um, Either that, or if you don't want to, you can 
maybe borrow my copy at some point. Oh, yeah, that's true. If you ever feel like it. All right. I'm going to bring up this next one just because just just cause it's funny. Uh, I, uh, I'm i just curious what you think, man. Fallout coming to Fortnite. I didn't even know that was a thing. You don't know that's a thing? I do not follow Fortnite at all, no. But I still pay for their stupid subscription. I need to can- cancel that. That's <laughs> all <I'm gonna> <laughs> yeah, bro. Fallout's coming to Fortnite. Mm, maybe it's time time to grind again. Snap. Oh. Just checking. Just checking. I don't really care that much. Uh, I mean, it's yeah, co- I mean, what is it? Is it Vault Vault Boy? I'm guessing. Or is it the no, power just, armor? No, it... You know, the power uh, armor would actually be kind of be hard. That'd be cool. I think it's the power armor. There's a That'd trailer. Be cool. That'd be cool. Uh, there's a trailer for Here, it. I'll, I'll look it up. I, I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Like, because yeah. it was going, it was, it, I saw it. Like, so many people, like, fall out in Fortnite? Like, oh, it's, oh, yeah, it's in the new, uh, it's in the, new, I, I remembered. Okay, it was in the new uh, trailer. Yeah. For the new C season. I, I, I didn't watch the trailer, but I heard about the new C season and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it's a large scale Fallout crossover. Um, it's like, the theme of the se- of, of of the season, which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Um, that is pretty sick. Oh, yeah. the the picture is pretty. It is the power armor. That is cool. Yeah. Oh, and it might it might also be uh. Just like a normal like, guy as well, like mm-hmm. in in the outfit. Yeah. Oh, I guarantee. Oh, I under. Oh yeah yeah yeah, because it uh. Yeah, hold on. You guys hold can't up. see. Hang on. Let it cook. Let it cook. Hold on. There we go. There it is. Yeah, it's also coming with a L- Laura Croft. I'm pretty pretty sure. Oh yeah, that's that looks like yeah, that's Laura Croft. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I guarantee mean, you the skin. Like, so I guarantee you the skin is gonna start like that, but like you can like, it, it gets stages, right? It gets stages, and the final stage will be like the the full power armor. I guarantee it. Yeah. Guaranteed. Your camera does not want to work with you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, I just I thought I thought I'd bring that up. I, I I'm kind of whatever on it because I don't know much about Fallout. Um, so I'm not particularly like too crazy about it. Um, I could maybe get into Fallout at some point. I don't know. Dude, I've thought you need about to. It, it's good. I dude, I've honestly wanted to try more Xbox stuff because I don't know what my favorite Xbox thing is anymore, and I kind of don't want to jump to the conclusions without playing a lot. Yeah. Um. I could say Psychonauts too, but you got to here. If I was to give you, if I was to give you a list of three Xbox games you have to try. Mhm. You have to fully try Gears. I don't know which okay. gears, but you have to try. I would say my favorite, but like my my favorite is like I'm the only person I've ever heard say that's their favorite. So it's like I don't know if yeah. that's the one I would send you to. Um, but yeah, you have to try I mean, I, a I, I gears. Mean, you have to try a yeah, gears. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go there. You know? And especially if six is announced, this oh mm. oh bro, my white wait. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 bro, you you almost – low-key, that slip-up was better than the other slip-up you were going to oh, save, dude. My – nah. My <laughs> dude. Okay, yo, you know what? You, I'm going to just go gonna... easy. I'm going to lose my mind if, if Gear 6 is there, dude. Right. I Gears is easily my favorite Xbox franchise. Easy. Like, it, it's honestly one of my favorite franchises in, ge- in, in general as well. Uh, so mm-hmm. finally getting another, another Gears is going to be so awesome. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you 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 have to play Gears. I think you have to play a Bethesda game that's not Starfield, and not Fallout seventy sucks. No, no, no. Bethesda software game. Bethesda software oh. game. So either an Elder Scrolls or a Fallout, is what I would say. I'd probably pick Fallout. I I I would go Fallout four. Fallout four is really really fun. Not New Vegas? I would, but I feel like you're more of a, like, especially now, you're, you're more of, like, a newer type game guy. 
I guess, but like I'm I'm not opposed to. Going I mean, to f- New, New Vegas is it. is my is my favorite, but like I, I've I've heard it's the best. Yeah, I, I know that and Fallout Four I think are loved a lot. Yeah, Fallout Three is also loved a lot. Um, yeah. Really, any Fallout except seventy sucks is loved. Like I'm, I'm gonna just keep mm. keep it real. Even Fallout Shelter, which is like a mo- mobile game, everyone loves. Um, yeah. But then, yeah, you have to try that. And then I would say the other one you have to try. <sighs> well, what do you know? I'm out of Xbox games. Um, wow. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, well, you've already played, like, State of Decay. You've already played some Forzas. You've already played Grounded. I already played Hellblade. Yeah, you already played Psychonauts and Hi-Fi Rush, RIP. Oh, Hi-Fi Rush is... Oh. Man, that's hard. I, I, we'll see. I want to figure out what my favorite Xbox game is at some point. Yeah, I don't know, that's... but yeah, a, a a Gears and a actual Bethesda software game. You have to, you have yeah. to. A Wolfenstein. You need to play Wolfenstein. That's what you you need to do. Okay. Wolfenstein two. Oh yeah, get on that mo. <laughs> uh, you don't have to. <laughs> well, I I'm used to skipping the first. Entries yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. That is true. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. A, a, a Wolfenstein or the Evil Within. The problem is, we're never gonna get another Evil Within. So, yeah, that's. Man, I really thought about it just because of that. I was like, yeah. I want to honor them so bad. I kind of want to play the Evil Within. Yeah, I mean, be, like, how it is. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any other. Yeah, definitely Wolfenstein though. Wolfenstein is great. And plus, since uh, they're they're uh, the same team is releasing Indiana Jones this year kind of be nice to see what the the studio is all about um it's good but uh yeah anyway all right shall we get on with the main topic of the podcast or is there any other news is there any other news that we need to cover dude dude there there's i mean there's uh, yeah there's there's some stuff bro all right let's do it um cook it up cook it up you have like an hour until you until you go to bed no, that's fine, bro. I can. I got like twelve at the latest. Like if okay. I like, that's my emergency. Emer- um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> emergency sleep. <laughs> Get to bed. Hit hit <laughs> hit the bed, bro. <laughs> Bubba uh, tea. So, uh, Square Enix uh, is finally uh, already taking initiative in uh, their new strategy. Uh, June thirteenth, uh, I think. From what it seems is uh, Kingdom Hearts is like oh I going mean, yeah to I like, just saw that I just saw that uh, Kingdom Hearts is going to like Switch I think I think Switch or, or like the Switch yeah which uh, I think is really good because w- I think it should be on there uh, it fits the demographic super well and I'm glad to see that Square Enix is finally understanding that you know they need to start putting their stuff on other platforms because with them not doing it, it's really hurting them. So, uh, I think it's really good to, for them to be doing Bro, that. Bro, low-key, I'm so excited for Kingdom Hearts 4. Let me tell you. Oh, dude, tell me. Dude, you don't need to tell me. Bro, if, I'm, if, you. I'm letting you know right now. If Star Wars is in it, oh, no, it's over. Oh, it's over. Uh, I, I'm a little worried about some of the new stuff because there's a lot of, animated film I, big now I will say I hope they don't include Marvel I don't really? I just don't see it working with what Kingdom Hearts is I can see Star Wars because Star Wars is like low key like a fantasy thing like it mm-hmm. like deep deep down it could be like r- like compared to like a fantasy type situation whereas like Marvel's not that yeah, but- uh, See, you don't you don't want to see Sora swing around with his keyblade with the... webs? No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I, I, I love your honesty, bro. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep really. it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a thousand percent with you, Chief. I ain't trying to see that. <laughs> I, I I just don't see it working. Like, I I feel like it would 
It'd be cool, but I feel like it would be there just to be there. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't feel like it... I don't know. I... Now, I will say, the well, only person I, I, I could see it working with is someone like Thor or like uh, or like Doc, Doctor Strange. Ones that could be so saying, like compared to fantasy. like. So what, you, so what you're saying is you want like like a, a Thor Love and Thunder world. No, just like like on Asgard. Like, let, like if he, he goes to Asgard, that would be cool, low-key. But, like, if we have him in New York, like, in Iron Man's there, it's just not going to hit right. Like, it, it, it just does not. I, I, I can't picture in my head him next to Iron Man and Captain America. It just it doesn't sit right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I, but, yeah, I'm very excited for uh, Kingdom Hearts 4, Loki. Especially for the star. Yeah. Now, I, I, I do see them... Which, I, I, even though all the all the the good talk I've given this franchise over the past couple years, I don't know if I'd want to see it in this, and that's Avatar. <laughs> you know, I've kind of wondered, and and I've really thought like if, if Square Enix and like Disney really wanted to take some chances and try to get um, some IP in there that could be pretty interesting. Like, I, I know they don't own this franchise, but I, I feel like I could see it, and I feel like it'd be nice to not... Because, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of stuff Disney's put out, but I feel like it'd be cool to take some risk and try to work with other companies. And, like, I've thought, like, it's kind of weird to me, but I've kind of thought over time, like, I think it'd be a very bold move to try to get, like, Harry Potter. I knew you were going to say it. I knew you were going to say it. You know, you know yeah. what I mean? Like... yeah. Stuff like that. I don't think it ever happened though. Um, probably not. They're uh, like but arch I've rivals. About it. Star Wars and Harry Potter are arch rivals, so I, I don't know if that would ever happen. Yeah. I, it it would be cool. To, it 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 would work. Like Harry Potter and Kingdom Hearts yeah. would would work for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. I also but just think not, I don't know. It really just depends on a lot. But uh, Star yeah. Wars for sure. Star Wars. I'm 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 hoping. I'm hoping, man. We'll we'll see how it is. It, it's definitely coming out next year, though. It's it's not this year for sure. Oh, but I think it's not this year. I, I I think it's gonna be next year. I have a lot of faith. I think it's gonna be next year for sure. Cause Square Enix Maybe. needs to have a game. It ain't gonna be Dragon Quest Eleven. That game is like apparently like we, yeah nothing yeah. like having nothing. Rough. Dude, you know what I want? What do you want? Which I don't know what to believe anymore. Where is Just Cause? I don't know nothing about Just Cause, bro. Oh, dude. It, it might uh, be just. It might just be dead, bro. It Loki. I mean, it might. And that's just an unfortunate I mean, reality like, I have to face. When you but. think about it, and like Square Enix's like strategies, like they even talked about they canceled a lot of projects. Like I'm gonna look it up. Will there be Just Cause Five? <laughs> Let's see what Google. Like, no, what, let's see what Google says. I mean, did just cause four do good? <laughs> my, my my man, or you you're going through a, a midlife crisis. Oh, that's right. Okay, hold on. All right. After Square Enix sold a bunch of IPs last year, like Tomb Raider, DSX, and all that stuff, yeah. uh, the Just Cause series remained in their possession. Last year, it was confirmed that they were working on another Just Cause game. Whether it was Just Cause Mobile or 5, we don't know right now. But we can have hope that it was 5 they were talking about. Everyone knows about Contraband. The upcoming game by Avalanche is set for a 2024 release. Doubt that's going to happen unless we see it at the Xbox show. Um, Avalanche also yeah. seemed to be hyping this game up. They wouldn't release a AAA game alongside it in the same year. 
So it would make sense that Just Cause 5 would come out in 2025. That way Avalanche wouldn't have competition with itself. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, I just, who knows, bro? <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all of that to yeah. just be like yeah I, I just it ain't coming up. I could sit here and hope uh, but you know it's just yeah. just cause isn't the most loved series in the world or at least the most successful series in the world so uh, yeah, yeah I ain't holding my breath only cares about like Final yeah. Fantasy yeah, yeah. I, I'm not I'm, I'm not holding my breath no. um well I, I need I need Square Enix to be like Sega and find their three pillars bro and just well, I'll tell you one of one of them is Final Fantasy. Oh wow! <laughs> one of them, one of them should be Dragon Quest, but we haven't had one in yeah. a hot minute. Yeah, it it, it really should be Dragon Quest. Yeah, I would say the other one feels like it should be Kingdom Hearts. I mean, yeah, but... it should be. That's the thing; they oh. have franchises that are so iconic that should be their their mm. pillars. But they just haven't released anything for them in a while. So it's like... Yeah. I don't know, man. Hmm. Um, but, uh... Octopath you know, Traveler. Staple. <laughs> <laughs> would, would, you, would, you, would you at least be content with, like... Like, a, like one of the Just Causes getting, like, a remake or something if they're, you couldn't get a sequel? That's fine. They're not gonna remake a Just Cause. Absolutely nobody wants a remake of Just Cause. <laughs> that just doesn't make sense. Know. If you had to, if you had to, if you had to pick one, like which one would you pick? <laughs> uh, two. This is not gonna do well. Two. Two. Not one. I'm pretty sure one is like not all that cool. I've never played one. I've never played one, but like, I'm pretty sure two was the first one where they introduced the gra grappling hook. Yeah. So it's like, see, problem is just cause is now known for having the wingsuit, the grappling hook, the parachute, the it, all the cool ga gadgets and everything. That if you remake another game, you're not gonna have all that, and so it'd kind of be like a complete downgrade. He's like. The, because the whole point just causes every time they just add new and wacky stuff. And yeah. so it's like, if if you take that away, then it's going to be like, oh, I'd rather play the other one. You know what yeah. I mean? So No, I get that. Uh, I was just kind of asking because I thought it would be interesting. But also, uh, you know, they may not really, people may not really want remakes for Just Cause, but... I will say this other franchise, on the other hand, uh, people really like remakes that they've been putting out and definitely want them. And there's sounds like there's a remake in development that might be coming pretty soon. Uh, Resident we've Evil. We've already got a re we've already got a remake of two yeah. and four and three. And now it sounds like we're about and to three. get three. Uh, we have three and three. And uh, it also sounds like we may be getting Resident Evil remake one again. Uh, that is true, yeah. Yep, for the third time. Um, and I also, just because I want to talk about it, because I never talked to you about it, uh, ever, uh, RE9. Oh, yes. Because uh, cause we never talked about it, like, at all. Yeah, that's true. Like, and I, I know before, like, we started talking, I remember seeing that come out. Um, so I thought we could just kind of talk about it. Just well, here, 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 here's my whole synopsis on the whole situation, all right? <laughs> oh, okay there buddy alright get her done Capcom is my goat so I will be hype and play whatever they put out simple as simple that uh, I think Resident Evil 1 remake is the right decision because I don't feel like 5 has had enough time pass to go straight to, to 5 I just and plus 5 isn't like all that loved like Compared to all the other ones, to be honest, five and six are That's not the most controversy. Yeah, for, for oh my god, stupid. Um, but yeah, so um, I think going back to one is a good idea, just because the the remake of one we have is so dated, <laughs> like it it really is. Um, yeah, and so I think that's really cool. And then number nine, um, I think that's really 
exciting just because uh, a new Re Re Resident Evil. Who doesn't want that? But my thing is, I was, I wasn't ever fully on board for eight just because I I wasn't I, I don't know I just never felt eight like I never I never got the hype of eight. Plus the main yeah. uh, the main attraction for that game was a seven foot tall vampire yeah. lady, which just got really yeah, old really quickly. Created. Got really yeah, old really quickly. I... So. I literally was just like, okay, guys, we get it. She's tall and you want to get stepped on. Like, besides yeah. that, there's she's just evil and I don't know. I, I don't see it. It looked but, cool um, and, like, I, I would play it if well, I ever got, got the time to do it. I just haven't. Yeah. I think what sucks is just no one talked about anything else about Literally. I never heard Literally. anything. Like, Seven, like, Biohazard, like, I played a little bit of. And I wanted to play that more than, um, what was Eight called? Village. It was village yes um i think everyone's I, saying nine's gonna be called apocalypse which i think that 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 sounds pretty cool uh yeah i think it's a pretty because apocalypse name. it's gonna take like uh the 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 v and y like the little v and then the uh l yeah. right behind mm -hmm. to make nine iv yeah. is nine i i don't know <laughs> I missed that entire <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I was about to go into my thought. Go into your um, thought. I, I just know 9 is kind of... Like, to quickly run up on 1, I, I'll i play it. I mean, I love Resident Evil 4. Um, oh, yeah. I played just a little bit of 2, uh, the remake. I kind of want to... Uh, Resident Evil, if I just play... I know if I play more, I'm just going to love it. Yeah. And at some point, I may just want to play all of them. Um... So, I'm definitely excited for that if they announce it and if it possibly comes out. Uh, rumored actually January of 2025. Uh, yeah. So like first month. Nine uh, or one. Not not nine, nine or one. Uh, 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 Resident Evil One remake. No wait. Uh, I think it's yeah, nine. I think it's nine. I can't remember. I think nine one. would make sense. Yeah. Nine would make more sense because we just got Resident Evil Four. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think it is Resident Evil Nine. I thought it was the 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 remake, is what was gonna. That mean yo, if if it really is January twenty, we could legit see it in a few weeks, somewhere. Yeah. It's or oh no, if there's a PlayStation showcase sold, it's there. <laughs> like one hundred percent. It could be. It could be. Um, but um, I uh. I, I'm excited for nine. I I have heard so far like kind of what they're gonna do. I I'm a sucker for Leon and I don't know anything. Oh but, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I know it's I know it's not gonna be Leon. It's gonna be the same Ethan that has been in the other ones. Ethan is, Winter, like, I think is his name. Yeah. Um I I don't remember too much about it, but I just know it's gonna be the biggest Resident Evil to date, and that it's been in development for a long time, like the long. I think they said it's going time. open world, right? Yeah, and it's going open world, which <sighs> we'll see. It, 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 we'll I see. I don't I don't like that. Me neither. I don't I like think either. I th and the only reason I don't Resident like it Evil is, is linear. I don't. I don't like this that direction because I don't think because my experience like with Dragon's Dogma two and its performance is like are they going to sacrifice performance for open world mm. and is it even going to make sense like I think the fact that Resident Evil is linear just makes sense I like that you you can't freely travel everywhere and you have a specific destination I'm gonna keep keep I, it real I, chief I, horror and open world don't make sense to me. I, you know what that yeah because horror is supposed to be pre-planned experiences like like it is yeah like certain things are set up to happen to scare you so it's like if you have open world you can't really do that like i mean who you, knows man maybe you know what i think would make more sense i mean i i mean i already kind of consider it's not i would be more okay with like open zone yeah like I feel like open world is just not. I don't. I don't yeah. agree with it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's. It's. However, pull, pulling the trigger on um, like open world games because Dragon's Dogma Two did it, and I don't know, man. I, I also thought about this. If it's open world, 
how is traversing and traveling going to be? Yeah. Is it going to be like walking from like destination to destination? Cause that's going to get old real yeah. fast. Yeah. I, I, but Hey, you know, I mean, on paper, it may not sound that good, but it could end up being one of those games that just sets a new generational, like trend. Yeah. Like, it, it, it could just it, like everyone, everyone be like, bro, horror and open world actually works. And then everyone's going to copy it. And then it's going to be like, yeah, <laughs> Dead Space Open World coming soon. You know, it's like... <laughs> nah, bro, we that. ain't getting no Dead Space, yeah, dog. Yeah, RIP Dead Space. It's so stupid. I hate... Uh, EA, they... they. I liked EA, and now they're just like... However, they went down. however I will say, I, I wouldn't even want Dead Space... I mean, I'll, I'll take Dead Space 2. But, like, I want Dead Space 4. Like, I want a new Dead Space, personally. But... Well, you gotta hope... It, you gotta hope they're... Bro, if they can't even... If they ain't gonna do a remake... There ain't no way they go choose to do a sequel. Yeah. Yeah. I just so sad. That's so sad. I've never been. That may be the most upset I've been in a company in a hot minute. Yeah. Because that's just like, come on, bro. Oh, no. I, I, uh, no. Them canceling the Except Immortals Phoenix Rising sequel. Oh, that made me want to cry. Mm. I just, Ubisoft. I just don't get it. It, it sucks. Everyone loved remake. So why not two? Oh wait, probably because they put too many resources into it and they didn't yeah. exceed their sales. Because yeah. I guess three point five million isn't enough, right? It's because Motive is working on that dang Iron Man game, bro. I don't want that stupid Iron Man game, bro. Like, wow, dude, Iron I, Iron Iron Man game. Yeah, more like Iron Mid. I said it. No, I'm kidding. I just I'd prefer Dead Space, bro. Like. Yeah. Screw! I I don't trust anything that Marvel works on anymore. I just I don't have a lot of faith, and I feel like it's not worth EA's buck to work with Marvel just to maybe have to pay more, and also like just end up like if it's like a flop, you know. Um, I just rather them go for the guarantee that everybody wants, but it could be good. I don't know. It's a little upsetting because unless your name I, is Spider Man. Or Deadpool, you're, you're you're not a guaranteed W, unfortunately. Yeah, or Wolverine. Uh, that's debatable. Well, it's being made by Insomniac, so. Oh that's yeah, I the... forget. Yeah, Wolverine. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd talk about uh just Resident Evil because I I hadn't talked to you about it, and also like I know the RE one uh stuff coming out. Yeah. Uh, I guess before we get into Summer Game Fest, uh, one more thing, just because I saw it today. Uh, Xbox uh, kind of got uh, leaked today. Uh, their mid-generation refresh. Uh, I think currently at this moment, it's being rumored that their next console could come out in 2026. Yeah, I I, I feel like that news has been out for a while. I feel like I heard about that a long time ago. Oh really? I yeah. thought it was just like a mid-gen. I didn't no. even think it was like no. A new I've console. I I. I remember I did um me and Chris Christian did a podcast a while ago talking about like what if Xbox ended up starting the next generation earlier than PlayStation. Yeah, um, that's what uh that's what Jay Wood covered in his new video. Yeah. He talked about it like potentially two years ahead of PlayStation, which yeah. I, I I I'm actually down for that. I'm not gonna lie. I would actually look he'd like that. I mean Because what we I'm, what what we would then get is then an in um, an alternating of all three pl platforms, we'd get Nintendo next year, and then Xbox the next year, and then PlayStation the next year, and then eventually we'll go repeat the process. And it's not like we have to wait all these time for just a new co console. We're we're kind of getting con we're getting consistent new fresh ideas, like at a more consistent rate. Uh, yeah. Which I also think it would just help with, just like just the cr creativity. I guess. Yeah. Um. But I don't know. I, I I'm actually down for it. Um. Uh, I just think they'd have to do it right. They'd have to do it right f for sure. Yeah. It um. It, it really it really depends. Um. I mean, it, Xbox is so weird right now because, like, console-wise, I'm kind of worried for them because yeah. they are not selling enough. But it, but it, I don't, 
I don't blame people for not buying an Xbox because if everything's going to go multi-platform, what's the point of buying a yep. console? Yeah. Um, I really hope, though, if they do, because I, I want a reason to buy an Xbox, the next Xbox. I do. Because I still care about Xbox, but it's like they really got to start pumping out these games. And I'm also kind of worried just because, like, 2026, if that's really what they choose to, like, to release this, then what are they going to have to launch? Because, like, we're finally getting to the point where a lot of these companies, like, or these studios are finally about to put out, like, their games they've been working on. Are they going to have a lot to put on the next console? I think yes. You know? I think yes. Like, I, mean, I, I guess, think I, I think, think Perfect Dark is not coming out next year. I don't think per- per- Perfect Dark is going to come out n- next year. I, th- I I think we're still a little ways away from per- Perfect Dark. I I would all I I wouldn't be shocked if we're also a little ways away from State of Decay three. Yeah. Uh, like I, I'm not gonna lie. Like, oh, like uh, the Outer Worlds two as well. I guarantee you that isn't coming out till 2026, the latest. Uh, but yeah. the a big one, which is easily gonna be the system seller, is Elder Scroll six. Oh yeah. Uh, I would also assume probably a new Halo. Some... I'm guessing. Well, I was gonna say a, a COD, of course. Oh like, well, yeah, COD's every year. I would, I would, I would th- well, like, yeah, but I, I feel like they're definitely gonna push it as like a launch title. Oh yeah, yeah, um, for sure. So, but like, hold yeah, on, yeah. think about that though. Can you imagine? Wait, the next. Hold on, hold on, hold on. New Fallout. No, El- Elder Scrolls coming first. It could be like a Fallout remaster or remake though. You would think with all the success, bro, it'd be in... Yeah, and that, and that might be why they closed close Tango. So, careful what you wish for. See, I... I man. Eh. If I rush better than any Fallout, sorry. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> no, I agree. I, really? I agree, yes. Okay. Well, dang. Bro, ex- bro um, fa- High Five Rush was my second fa- fa- favorite game last year. If it wasn't for dang Alan Wake, which ended up becoming my third favorite game of all time... High fire rush would be no one. <laughs> Easy. Sounds like a sounds like a skill issue, bro. Just don't let it be your third favorite game. Of <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I've never had that thought before. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if I just don't like a game that I yeah, loved? Yeah. Hmm. Man, I I I just want this game to be my game of the year so bad that I'm just gonna say I hate every other game. But, Facts. Yeah. Hmm, well. Metroid Prime 4, where you at? Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, I, man, we, yeah, I, I just thought, uh, just talk about that, just because I think it's interesting, uh, and I and I know Jay would cover it today. That would low-key um, be crazy. Can, can you imagine if the launch titles for an Xbox are mm. two of the most successful franchises of all time? Elder Scrolls 6 and Call of Duty? That's numbers. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah. Skyrim is one of the highest selling games of all time. And that was the last El- Elder Scrolls. We haven't gotten one since. Call of Duty is yeah. always, the, like, the highest selling game of it every year. So it's like, yeah. that's numbers. Holy yeah. smokes. So you, so you think, oh, okay, so you're thinking COD. You said COD, Sky, like, Elder Scrolls 6 and uh, Gears. Is that what you said, or no? I'm gonna I, I'm gonna say Perfect Dark or State of Decay three, probably. Okay. Yeah. Or because hear me out. Hear me out. Yeah. Hear, hear me out. Let let them cook. Let them cook. Minecraft. No, <laughs> I knew you were. I knew you were. Gonna say. <laughs> I knew you were. Gonna say. Could you ever see a world oh. where Minecraft gets a sequel, dude? No, I Could cannot you ever. No. Nope. Oh, dude, I would. Die, bro. Imagine we I could live see in a like world I could it. see like Minecraft Story Mode two or something like that. But like, imagine if a sequel ever came out from Minecraft and it was like the most, like the best selling game of all. You time. know what I could like, see though, mm. if they want to appeal to as many audiences as, as possible, Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, ba- I was literally about to say it, Banjo Kazooie. I mean, think, it bro. Happen, think though. of think of happen. just those three. The amount of variety. You have a platformer in Banjo Kazooie. You have a fantasy RPG in Elder Scrolls, and then you have a first-person shooter. Call of Duty. It's not gonna happen. That'd be a crazy launch like lineup. I ain't gonna lie. 
I, I want I want Banjo back. But Toys for Bob is gone. They want to work on what they want. No one wants to Yo, work on Banjo. Spyro X Crash X Banjo. It's happening. Rare, Rare does X not want to work on Banjo. <laughs> Toys for Bob doesn't want to work on Banjo. Freaking uh, uh, Double Fine doesn't want to work on Banjo. Yo, <laughs> no, honestly, at this rate, Everwild could probably be a launch title, Loki. At this rate. <laughs> I, God. But yeah, Outer Worlds 2 is going to be pretty late. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, honestly, the, the future, it, it, it could go kind of crazy. It could. Like, Dude, uh, like, that's what's really, so sad really about this whole sense. Xbox thing is if you take away their, their constant drama, they legitimately look like they have the best future because they just have so many games and everything. But... Yeah, but then it's can they deliver? Right, it's and then there's all the drama, and it just makes it look not as good as it should be, um, which is just yeah. so so sad. Because like we we he just named so many big games, and that's not even all of them. Like it's it's yeah. ridiculous. Like South of Midnight, Clockwork time, Revolution, yeah. and like so many other ones, man. At the at the same time though, it's like as time goes on, I mean we we could start to find because. Every company is always going to have their their downtime, but like, who knows, man? Like, we've even talked about it recently, but like, Nintendo's lineup for the next console could be something really special. It could special be. It could well. be for sure. Because because the Switch in in twenty the twenty seventeen lineup, oh my goodness yeah. gracious, they cooked. Yeah. Um, and like even like even PlayStation could go crazy. You know, we we're, we're at a dry point where we don't have a lot, but they have to be cooking up some things. You oh know? yeah. Um, definitely anytime. I do think uh, next year is going to be really good for PlayStation. I'm not going to lie. I, I think it needs to, bro. Two, I think... I think for the last two years, it's been... Oh, it's been if, dry. If we go off the, like, leaks just in general, it's looking like at least, at the very least, we're getting Ghost of Tsushima 2 and Venom next year. Which, those two are yeah. already really cool. Like, that, that's already a pretty good lineup, but they, they need some oh, other yeah, bro. stuff. <laughs> Lego Horizon. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I I can't, dude. What 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 are they cooking there, bro? Just just make just. Remake <laughs> you got this. Remaster, remake or remaster Bloodborne, bro. Easy it's never gonna sell. happen. It's never gonna happen, bro. Easy easy sell, bro. Easy money on the line. That they're just not. It's taking. it's not Sony's problem though. Is the, is the thing. It's from software. That's Easy not money, that's dog. not PlayStation's on, problem. I know, oh, I know. They're too busy on dang Elden Ring. That's a system seller, bro. That is true. Yeah. Um, man, I don't know. PlayStation's weird because I'm trying to think. I mean, because there's some other studio. Uh, I don't know, man. Oh yeah, because like Concord. Yeah, old older live. Well, they have apparently like 22 live service games that they want to release before 2026. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Which like. I guarantee you that, like, majority of that plan is scrapped. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I know I'm a quarter of them are scrapped. Yeah. Um, it'd be cool to see, um, oh my gosh. Sly Cooper name? or Jack and Daxter? Uh, what's the studio name? It's not Quantic Dream, is it? I mean, that is a studio. The, I mean... the studio that makes uh, Little Big Planet. Dreams. Oh, me uh, Media Molecule. Yes, Media Molecule. That's what I, I don't know why I want to say Quantic Dreams. Uh, I think it'd be cool to see their next game, even though it's probably not anytime close. But Dreams 2. Cool. That'd be awesome. Um, I just want to be another little big planet. Yeah. That's just really what I want. Um, I I don't know. It, 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 we'll see I do time. think I, just, I, I, I do think we are getting another Uncharted. I just don't think it's from not. I don't think it's from Naughty Dog, though. Yeah, uh, I don't know yeah, who that it could is, be that from. That is though. true. And then Sony I, Bend, uh, the Days Gone studio, they're working on something. Blue Point, yeah. which is the the, the Demon Souls remake, they acquired him, yeah. and we haven't heard anything from them since. Dude, the, all their studios are working on something. We just don't know what any of those things are. 
See, and that's why I'm excited for next year because I I think they really need to come back because I think two years have been dry, bro. This year, like when you think about it, last year there was one Sony like first party exclusive, and now it's like we could have like zero like that are like in their eyes very like massive. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And like I'm I'm okay with even, uh, man, dude. I. I New Infamous, bro. No, I'm just I, I, I will say, I do feel like we might be entering an era of PlayStation where I think majority of their games might be new IPs, low-key. Which is I, not, not a... actually a bad thing, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, But it's just, they have so many new studios that are working on stuff that it's like, you almost have to do new IP. Because especially like something like Sony Ben... They wanted to do Days Gone 2, but they weren't g- given the green light, and so now they're doing a new, new IP. Same thing with Blue yeah. Blue Point. We don't think they're doing another remake, which means they're doing another new IP, because that's just how things are. But, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Loki. Lo- Loki. Oh, sorry. Loki, hear me out, man. He's a good villain. PlayStation, PlayStation All-Star Brawl 2. Yeah, that'd be cool. It was a PlayStation fighting game. Returnal 2? Oh, dude, don't even give me a start. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if it's sold enough. Is the problem? Uh man, I. I don't think it's even so gotten past like 1.5 million. To be honest, that's so stupid. It is, it's so sad. So dumb that we're at this point where like it has to sell a certain amount just to get a secret. It's so sad. I, I think House Marquee already said they're working on new IP as well. That's what I'm saying. New IPs, man. man they might be yeah. coming. So they, yeah, they. It just sounds like they really want to start. I mean, that's that's fine. I, I hope I like a mix of both. I mean, we so. we we low key. Well, one of the big complaints from PlayStation's for like a few years now is that they've just been so sequel heavy. So they might have just gotten oh, yeah. all the sequels, and, and now we're getting told the new IP. So I don't know. But um, yeah. All right. Shall we get on with the actual? Yes. Main topic. Okay, that's that, that was literally everything. So okay. yes, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you are going to witness this in real time because we don't exactly have it figured out yet. Welcome to the 2024 Summer Games Fest Draft. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. So how do we want to do it? So how many slots do we each want and of what categories? Because we're going to have like... Ones that are, like, for sure, like, are very likely. Then we're going to have ones that are, like, I could see it, but it's not likely. But then we have ones that are, like, pipe dreams, like, very unlikely. So, three different categories. How many How many of each category do we want to pick for Summer Games Fest? I thought we ta- uh, said, like, talked about, like, six each. Uh, that was for Xbox. We, we talked about. We, oh. we talked about uh... a lot for Xbox. I don't know. I mean, there's gonna be a lot at Summer Games Fest. It's gonna be I'm, like I'm gonna hours. say I'm gonna say three, two, and one. Okay. So three, absolutely likely, like could almost guarantee is gonna, gonna be there. Two that are like I'm gonna guess it's gonna be there, but it could very well not be. But then there's like one that's like I doubt will be there, but what if you know? Yeah. So I think I, I I think we're gonna do that. Okay, that that um that sounds good to me, man. All right, so I'm making the list here on my phone now. And then, are we also going to try and guess release date to give us an extra point? To give us an extra point. I that's kind of crazy. So okay, yeah, we'll do that. So if if we're confident that it'll, if, and we're going off of what the trailer at the show is gonna say. So if the trailer at the show says twenty twenty five, and we guess twenty twenty five, then we get a point. But if we guess twenty twenty five, and it says like early twenty twenty five, we don't get the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have to be pretty much what the trailer says. Now, yeah. the only exception is number of days do not count. So, like, if we say October 16th for, for a game, and it just says October, that's fine. Because, like, it's almost impossible to guess the exact day 
in a month that a game's going to come out. Yeah. But it, so if we guess uh, October and it's October 24th, we get a point for that. Yeah. So, all right, that's how we're going to do it. Uh, but then we could also guess no date. And if there's no date, we, we get a point. Mm-hmm. All right. So, heads or tails to go go first? Uh, I'm all about the head, baby. All right. Flip a coin. Are you kidding? It said, bruh, hold up. <laughs> what? Hold up. Uh, hold on. Oops, it rotated under the bed. <laughs> Roll a dice. Er, oh, wait, no. Roll a <laughs> <laughs> Flip a coin. Yes, roll a, roll a dice. One through six. What is it? Tails. Uh, okay, so it's so you I go first. first. Okay. All right. I think that's fair, just because uh, I think I went first last time we did this. So we can choose these in any order we want. So if I I, I want to start with the pipe dream, I don't know why I would. I can start with the pipe pipe dream, but you 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 have to classify what category you're you're putting it under. And mm-hmm. I think if we say a game that we're like that. We'll be like, uh, it could be, but it might not be. You know what I mean? Like in that middle section, but like in my eyes, that's like an absolute shoe in. We'll d- debate about it, see if it's valid for that or not. Uh, all right, but for my absolute shoe in, like, um, I'm I'm pretty pretty confident it's gonna be here for my first one. Uh, I'm going with Borderlands Four. Okay. And I'm saying a. 2024 release date. Dang. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say more specifically September. Cause I can't just say 2024. That's that that's too easy of a guess. Unless yeah. it literally just said 2024, but I don't think it would just say 2024. I think it would say a month. Yeah. Or oh, I could say fall, fall 2020. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm going with sep- September 2024. So yeah, that that's my first pick. Borderlands 4 September 2024. And that is from one of my shoe-in categories. I man, I I'm I'm really trying to hone down on some, but I don't I don't know because the two that I really want to I want to I want to hit the landing I'm not 100% confident on because they have multiple projects so it's like oh screw you Xbox cuz most of the things that I think I'm just thinking like they may be at the Xbox thing cuz I would love to say silk song mm. uh but I think X. I think I think Xbox got to lock down. Yeah, I mean, man. <sighs> a lot. Okay, lock in. Um, or you could do like a pipe dream. Whatever, whatever you want. Okay. I. Oh. No, because Ubisoft forward. God, dude. Mm. I know. I, I had some. I had. Some, I had some cooking. I had some cooking. Say it'd be easy. Oh no, because they have like forty-eight things in development. I'm going. To... <laughs> I want to say Sonic something. It's made sense. Sonic X because Shadow. there's I I I could see that or something because there's there, there's some other things I've also seen like that could be in development. Uh, do I have to be very specific? Like, what do you mean? Like, do I just, like, could I just say I think, like, Sonic in some way could make an appearance, you know? Or do you uh, really mean- no. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say specific. Okay. That that one's too broad. Like, like, I would say the only exception would be, like, 
if you said I think so- Sony Bend is gonna show right. their next game. Screw you know it. I mean? Screw it. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Yeah. I think Elven Ring DLC is gonna be here. Hang on. Wait, when does it come out? I was about to say that's that's what I'm looking up. Wait. <laughs> because wait. like Oh wait. It's like next month, right? Never mind, I take my answer back. I was about to say like if I mean I thought I had a Well no, longer. you you could, but it, it it'd probably just be an ad in the show, which technically would count. Like it'd be during the show, but I don't think it, they'd have like a whole segment for it. I just think I think it'd be like a like a trailer like comes out tomorrow. Like something something like that. Dude, I have no idea. All right, I'm I'm not even gonna go like confirm. I'm just gonna go pipe dream. Uh, no PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh I hate every game I'm thinking of. It's literally. Man, I I, I really took the uh, I, I really took the the only good answer, I guess. Dude, there 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 are good answers, man. It's just like, I I want to win. <laughs> Uh, Dude, we really could see my, anything at the show. That that's the thing. Well, really yeah, enjoyed. and and my thing is, I I need to. St- I feel like I'm also thinking it's gonna be like the greatest thing ever. Like, but it's usually not. No, like, it, it's, it's usually it's okay. Good, yeah. But um, hmm, man, my heart. Okay, Capcom. I'm just gonna take a wild guess for Capcom. Ooh, okay. All right. It could be RE9. I don't. Would they pick Monster Hunter? They did it. Oh. They did Ooh. it at the game. They, I see what you're cooking. They did it. They they did it at the game. Awards. It has a 2025 release date. So. That might not be a bad shout. I just, I, I can't decide if it's RE9. Like, I feel like RE9 would be so smart, but would PlayStation, would they make that, like, one of the stars of their show, you know? I, I, I think PlayStation would, personally. But, I don't know why I'm ha- ha- hoping you. You can make whatever decision you want. The These are our guesses. Man... Oh, I, I think we might have to switch around our category. I think we're, we're gonna do two, three, and one because like there, there, there are way more games of like it could be there, but it probably won't be. Like it, it might not be. Yeah. Then like absolutely, it's gonna gonna be there. There's not that many that we can like guarantee is gonna be there. Like, yeah, that, that's a lot harder. I'm just really, I'm just really trying to guess with Cap because I know there's not a lot, and they're gonna be there, and unless they have an actual thing. Cause I'm gonna i I'm gonna say Monster Hunter. I'm just gonna go with it. I think what uh what what, a, what category? Gonna... Like unlikely or likely? I think it's or impossible. I think, it'd be like, I, I think it's pretty likely. Okay. I agree. I agree. I, I would I would say so. Monster Hunter Wild. Alright, that's, that's a good it's a good pick. It's a good pick. Um, if dude, I, I can tell you right now, it, if it if it is re nine, I'm I'm rioting. Well, you may have the chance to guess that next because that is not what I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna go for one of my unlikely spots. I don't think it's impossible. I like I don't think it's a pipe dream. I'm thinking of a company that will definitely not have their own showcase, and I don't see them being a part of someone else's. And it was at the Game Game Awards when it was first announced, and we haven't heard of it in a long time. My unlikely pick is Wonder Woman. Okay, I thought about it, um, but I don't. I don't know. It it's weird because also they could show like Iron Man, or they, there's a lot of other things they can show as oh, well. Yeah, EA. Is... Oh my God, I didn't even think. Oh, 
Yeah, that's the thing is like Ooh. EA is Ooh. you never know. Like you're Haze Light question mark. Twenty twenty one was it takes two. That's like the whole three years ago. I would say that's a pipe dream though, I ain't gonna lie. Because we haven't heard of anything about that, so I don't that that that's like a shot in the dark, low key. You, bro, you got, you got the gears turning, bro. That would be awesome. It'd be at the game. It'd, it'd be at the game awards, though. I, I Not feel like he's. It, they're just too known for that, you know. I. Uh, so you're going with Wonder Woman? Yeah, I went with Wonder Woman, as one of my unlikelies. Okay. Unlikely. Okay. Um. I don't think it's likely, but I don't think it's impossible either. Yeah, so so basically, like, the way this is going is, like, basically unlikely. It's just, like, it could. we don't think it's going to be it there, but, but if it's there, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not confident in it being there, but, like, I could see it happening. You know what I mean? Like, one of those. Things. Yeah. Man. This is so hard. Go, you know Re Re Go Resident Evil 9, so you're not upset that you didn't do it. <laughs> no. I... Hold on a minute. I'm going to throw out a curveball that I just thought about if this is... Okay. Unlikely... Give me Replaced. Because it's, it's been at Gamescom. It's been at the Game Awards. It, I mean... See, I, I, mean, I, it, I would make the argument that I would consider that more of a likely category. But yeah, the, I, I'm, I'm okay with it being unlikely because it's also an Xbox game. So it, it, oh, it, it really? could show up at Xbox's show, is the thing. So that's why I'll that's say... Wait, yeah, wait, it, wait, it's, wait. it's an Xbox game. Yeah, it's similar to Stalker. It's coming to Game Game Pass Day One, and it was originally announced at uh, the Xbox Showcase. Oh, I had no idea of that. Yeah. So it's whatever you want. Do you want to put in your in your likely or unlikely? Oh man, that's hard. I'll I'll say unlikely just because you said that, mm -hmm. and, I, and I am looking at this like I do see like Xbox has had two trailers like throughout the years. I'm pretty like, sure they, like I'm pretty sure it's a, technically an exclusive to Xbox. Yeah, I'll I'll do I'll do unlikely. Okay, I think. Cause that's the thing you, you have to think we we can still guess Xbox stuff, but put it as un unlikely. You never know because. So, yeah. because, like, if we think about it, like, Last of Us Part 1 was at a Summer Games Fest. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was at Summer Games Fest. And that's, like, PlayStation stuff. So. Yeah. But it's just, ah, it's just crazy to me. Uh, okay, my next pick. Hmm. Ooh, I wonder if Marvel 1943 could show up again. I doubt it, but it could. Oh! <gasps> Wait, does this have a date? Uh-oh, hold on. I may have my light. I may ha have a li likely looky. Oh, uh, but whose showcase will it show up at? I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm going with this one. I'm, I'm also going with this one because this is one of my most anticipated games. So if I am right and I get a point for it, it's going to feel really good. My next, my next and final likely spot 
meaning I'm very confident it'll be there, is Visions of Mana. Okay. Because it was at the Game Game Awards, and it has a summer 2024 release date. Mm. But no actual date. Yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, I think it's going to get an August release date. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you haven't been, been giving dates, but by, the, by the way. Dude, I, I've Monster Hunter Wilds. Just, just take, just take a guess. When do you uh, think Monster Hunter Wilds will release? Twenty twenty-five. Uh, August. Uh, no, August. <laughs> They're not gonna announce uh, a oh, month no, in no. next year. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> we haven't even reached uh, August of this year. <laughs> They probably wouldn't get a release date. Um, I mean, it'd be like early 2025, summer 25. Like, like, I think it's going to be like summer. Give me June. You really want to put a, a month on a 2025 game? Is that what's not what, Well, I'm pretty certain it's 2025. If, They've literally if, confirmed if, if, it's 2025. Yeah, but like... If, 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 that, if that's what you think will be on the trailer, June 2025... No, then, it's not going to okay, be on then, there. Well, then you won't, you won't get a point then. <laughs> 20, okay, whatever, Doug. 2025. Okay. Here you go. And then re replace. Mm. Date. Oh, replace. Uh, bro, who knows? Uh, mm, will it come out? No, next year. I th I think early 2025. Yeah, I I think it's so weird. You never know. You never know with that studio because it's also a Ukraine studio. Ooh, uh, and then man. for my um for my Wonder Woman, I'm putting 2025, just flat out okay. 2025. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, All right. Okay, it's you now. Your pick. I had Visions of Mana for August of 2024. As my second and last likely slot. Both of us have yet to use our pipe dream. And we have each used... Or I've used two unlikelies. You've used one. You are now on your third pick. I feel like it is so unfair to say what I want to guess. I want to keep it so simple with Sega. I want to say Sonic only because I think... But I can't figure out what it would be. But you know what my heart tells me to put in unlikely, but I, I, I feel like it could... One of the new IPs that Sega announced at Game Awards. You mean the re think, you mean the revived IPs? Yes, I think one of those could show up at, at this. That's a good choice, but you're going to have to be more specific, buddy. Oh, so I have to guess out of four options, which one's going to be there? We're guessing out of like a hundred options right now. <sighs> Crazy taxi or jet set radio. Which one would they pick? Dude, I would be furious if I picked one. They're like, yeah, we just picked from, the other one. From what I've heard, I'm pretty sure Crazy Taxi is a little farther away, I think, from what I've heard, but I could be wrong. Really? That's what I've heard. Uh, I don't know. That's pretty likely, though. I, I ain't gonna lie that one of those revivals will be here. It's a good shout. Actually, I could see that uh, sh sh Shinobi game. That one revival. It's so Shinobi. hard. It's so difficult. Because, like, every game that I think of, I just think is going to be at something else. And that's my issue is, like, when I think of Capcom, I'm trying to think of what's not going to be at there. The reason I picked Monster Hunter is because, like I said, RE9 is going to probably be somewhere else. I mean, that's their big flagship, unless they're just like, no. Um, it, I could be like, oh, Pragmata, but it's been at every Capcom event thing that they've had. Okay, I will um, I will allow you to put Sega Revival game. If if that's what you want. No, no, it's fine. I, I'll I, I I got this. I'm gonna nail it down to a T. Bro, where is Devil May Cry, bro? What happened to that series, bro? You could you could you could put that down, 
buddy. That might be my uh, pipe, pipe dream, low key. Man, dog, it's Sega. Is so weird. They have so many things right now. It's it's difficult. Yeah, bro, just put Alan Wake three. <laughs> Uh -oh. Thank oh. you. You just. Oh, yes. Oh, well, wait. I, I screwed up. I screwed up. How'd you screw up? I don't have any more li li likely spots. And I have, like, pretty much, a, like, literally almost confirmed. Oh, yes. I, I really, I really want to try something, but I don't. What? I need to. Figure out what Ubisoft games have showed up at, but it's Ubisoft Forward. They show a lot. They gotta show one though. They they showed Prince of Persia at the last one. That was the opener. That was the opener actually. Would would they show Splinter Cell? No, that'll be at the Forward. <laughs> yeah, that's that, what I'm thinking. Yeah. It would have to be a smaller Beyond, game or like an update. Beyond like, Good and Evil Two isn't coming out. Like uh, Star Wars Outlaws, maybe you could say that. Maybe. Uh, that, I don't know. <laughs> I hate that most of these companies have their own events, dude. It, oh, man, it's so hard. Okay, what have I done so far for my um my? You have likely you have likely. one likely of Monster Hunter Wilds. And you have one unlikely for replaced. Okay. Uh. Man, I'm just gonna fact check something just to make sure I've. Dang it, dude! I messed up. I don't have. <laughs> I don't have a likely spot. You, you don't have a likely spot? No, my likelies are Visions of Mana and Bo Borderlands 4. Oh, yeah, you did. Uh, I mean, I, I could maybe... Conv no, I can't. I can't make the argument that this other one is going to be unlikely because it's almost confirmed it's going to be there. Oh, dang it. I mean, I guess I could just tell you because I, I'm not gonna be able to guess it, unfortunately. But <laughs> what were you thinking? Alan Wake Two DLC. Um, um, maybe. So, uh, Jeff, no, Jeff Keighley tweeted, "See you at the game uh, at Summer Games Fest in three weeks." Uh, Sam Lake. Um, oh yeah, he did. He uh, he 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 retweeted like the big eyeballs. Screw it, buddy. The eyeballs. Alan Wake Two DLC. <laughs> uh, if, if 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 you win because of like one point, I'm gonna be. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, date for that? Do you have a date? What if it's available now? <laughs> Dude, I would, I would cream. Oh. I would <laughs> uh, shadow drop. Shadow drop. Yep, shadow drop. Well, it didn't go, it didn't go what, right, but what are we considering a shadow drop? Like within like two two weeks, within two weeks probably. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That, that You're welcome. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> Watch them just show like control two instead. <laughs> that would be funny, bro. That would be hilarious. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I think something Xbox is gonna be here. The problem is, I just don't know what. I have a thought, but at the same time, at the same time, like as of right now, I'm thinking, you know what? I could see it, but then like. When when the moment happens and it doesn't happen, I'll be like, "Why did I think that? I was so stupid." I'm thinking, uh, Starfield's DLC, Shattered Space, could be here, but I think they would do it at their event because it's freaking Starfield. Hey, you do you, man. Oh man, um, man. 
it, it is it, <laughs> it is something. Will Kojima be at another Jeff Keighley show? I I thought I thought the same thing. I don't think he showed up at a Summer Games Fest yet, though. Is the problem? I don't think he's yeah, been at one. I ex- I expected Game Awards, that which is why I haven't. Hold said on! It. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, Bandai Namco, they always show up. Little Nightmares was last year. That has a 2024 release date. Oh, but the problem is, will it be here? I'm going to go li- li- Little Nightmares 3 as one of my unlikelies because I'm not too confident that's going to be here. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to say that's going to get an October release date. Because it's horror and it's scary, so mm-hmm. I'm going with that. Which releasing any game in October is always always a death threat, but like, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll yeah. October 2024 is my guess for that. All right, which means I have my pipe dream. No, I have no, no, I have one more unlikely, and then my pipe dream. You have two more unlikelies and a pipe dream. I (laughs) That was a great sound That was a great sound (laughs) Hold on Austin's face every He he, like every two minutes Is like he just discovered God Or something like (laughs) He's like thinks of another idea I can't I, I just I'm gonna do it I feel like it'd be at the Game Awards. I feel like Summer it's getting Fest? close. It's got to be coming at sight. I feel like this would be more at the Game Awards, but I'm just going to say Summer Games Fest because Rebirth was there. I am I think from Midori, I think Atlas is going to be here. I'm going to go Pipe Dream Persona 6. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. It's got to come eventually. Okay, so I and do you want a I, release date of twenty twenty five or what or no release date? You could leave leave a blank, and that would be I a don't, point. I don't think... But the trailer would have man, to have absolutely no date whatsoever. Man, it's it. so hard, bro. <laughs> it's just so difficult because it's like most like i said most most of these studios they, they have their i would own say 2025 shows. personally that's what i would do i would say 2025 yeah i go 2020 i'll just say persona 6 i think they need a big ender and i think that'd be a great way to end it that would be yeah that would be um, a big end that would be like, a big end yeah i'll i'll say persona 6 also just because midori I think Midori is a, like just confirming Atlas is gonna be there. It could be something smaller, uh, which I may come to regret if it is. Uh, but I'm just I'm gonna say it's it's gonna be there. Okay, um, my last unlikely. This one's definitely definitely unlikely, but I don't think it's a pipe dream. Just because I'm pretty sure we know it's a thing. We I just don't know if it's gonna be here. Is the problem. I'm going with a PlayStation thing. Okay. And the only reason I'm going with it is because something very similar happened at the last one. Or no, two year, years ago. Last of Us Part 1 was the finale. Horizon Zero Dawn remake. I think is my un- unlikely. Okay. I'm I'm not mad at it. And then that's going to get a You know what? How ballsy would it be if I was like, what if it's this year? Because they did say no no major first party titles until March 2025. I don't know if a remake would be considered a major title. 
I'm going to say early 2025, though. <laughs> okay. So now I have my pipe dream, and you have one unlikely. No, you have two unlikelies. Yeah, you have two unlikelies. God, dude, this is, this is rough. Just say GTA 6. Oh! <gasps> Oh, I didn't even think about that. I don't think it's... Wait, I mean... That's not unlikely. That's a big... Well, that's a big finale. <laughs> that's not un... Is it... Oh, it's definitely unlikely. It's GTA. It's so basic, but... Uh, I guess it needs its... Public... GTA 6, give it to me. <laughs> give it to me, Daddy. I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna be... Whoa. With a 2025 uh, release I, I, I don't know. Well, yeah, it's pretty much been confirmed, like, fall. So, give me October for that. You you, you want you want a month? Uh, yeah, I mean, fall. Well, okay. Dude, do, I, I'm do, just trying do you want to say spicy. fall? Do you, you want to say it fall just, 2025? Well, I mean, they've confirmed it. I'm not even, no, just, just 2025, that's it. Okay. I don't know if they're actually going to say fall in it. They've yeah. confirmed it's going to be fall, but would they actually be like... Yeah. Coming this fall. Yep. Rather just say Alright, that means you have one more unlikely, and I have my pipe dream. So this is where things get interesting. What do I what would I I also want to say, fellas, I apologize. Fellas. I will do better in the other ones. Uh I all my knowledge has gone to these uh, to the other ones. I know. I know and like this one, I'm just because it's so hard, because I I, I want to guess because Sega is like like I said, Sega doesn't have their own showcases, and then these they always put one game in there. Like Capcom always has one game, Ubisoft does. It's you like, know, what would Ubisoft do? You know, we did mention one. Kingdom Hearts 4 would be kind of a pipe dream, low-key. My only fear... I feel like that's a Game Awards thing, though. My only fear is the one time they did it, it was for an anniversary, and would they do it at a PlayStation event? No. N you know not, what? not after just announcing they're going fully multi-platform. You, know, you know what I wanted for Ubisoft, but I don't think they would because it's one of their biggest. I was going to say Far Cry. Oh my god, we could be getting the next Far Cry at the Ubisoft Forward. Holy crap. Oh, dude, that Ubisoft Forward... Dude, that might be my most excited event. I ain't even gonna cap, bro. Uh, man. Pipe Dream. Titanfall 3. No. Uh, <laughs> that, that's never happened. Uh, I might go if. I might go with King Kingdom Hearts, low key. I doubt it. Like that, that that's a major pipe dream. <laughs> that's, that's major. Mm -hmm. Um Final yeah, Fantasy I, I... 17 maybe? No, I'm just joking. Uh, bruh. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I uh, apologize so much, guys. I I like I said, all my knowledge has gone into these other ones. Like I, I, I pretty much kind of like really thought about what I think is going to go to the other ones. Well, but like this, might... this is the most interesting event because like we literally have no idea what's going to be here except for Borderlands Four. I feel like Borderlands Four is the only shoe in, like as of right now. And and yeah. and the thing is like, we're doing these predictions and guesses right now. Jeff Keighley is known to announce games that are going to be at the show before the show's actually there. Um, before the show actually happens. So, like, we may get points but before the show even happens. <laughs> yeah. Um, <sighs> GTA 6 is crazy. However, that... Uh, uh, like... I, I think I would have picked that if you didn't pick, pick that. I'm trying to think what Man, has been realize, what has I'm, been rumored or rated re recently. That's what I'm trying to think. Like what, what has been rated? I mean, I know Sus Hollow Knight was rated, but that's that's gonna be at the Xbox event. Hmm. 
Hmm. You said Vision's a mana, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, that, I think that's a good shout. I'm going to throw out a random one for Bandai. I'm just going to throw it out there. I just thought of it. I'm just going to throw it out. Oh, I think I know what you're thinking of. You thinking of the dra Dragon Ball? I think it's going to be Sparkling Zero. Yeah. I'm going to go Kingdom Hearts. So I'm, I'm going okay. Kingdom Hearts 4. That's definitely not happening. <laughs> if, if that, that's, a, that's such a waste of a pick. It's, it's definitely not happening. Uh, and, what, what if it did, bro? Dude, imagine that's bonus points. Automatic W. No, I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know what date. I'm. I might leave it. Leave it blank. I don't think they'll give a date. Yeah. Uh, and then you're going sparkling zero. It's the only thing I can think for Bandai, unless they pick some random. Give me Sparkling Zero, yeah. All right, and a release date? Uh, this year. Holiday or like just this year? Just just twenty twenty four? Is is that what is that what you want? Yeah, just this year. Okay. Alrighty, there we go. So. A recap of all our lists, because the draft is now officially complete. This is a. I, I'm gonna just let you know, if some of these games come true, this is gonna be a great show. <laughs> I, I I feel I feel like I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna re-listen to this and I'm gonna be like, what, were we what was I? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm, these, none of these can show up. I, I'm not gonna lie. I I I'd be completely. I'd completely believe if we get absolutely none of these right. Uh, so, my list contains Visions of Mana with an August 2024 release date, Borderlands 4 with a September 2024 release date, Little Nightmares 3 with October 2024 release date, Wonder You're Woman. You're insane for picking months. Like, of like oh yeah, the... You know Imagine I if I get it, it right, too. Imagine if I get it right. No, I'm scared because I feel like you have a lot of confidence and that scares me. And like release dates for some reason. I don't know why you're just confident it's gonna. Well, be that well, Vis Visions of Mana was confirmed to have a summer 2024 release date. I doubt they would yeah. they would release the date the game one month after they show it. Um, and so I don't think it'd be July. And August is still summer, so I'm going with August. B Borderlands four, Borderlands three released in September. A lot of franchises usually follow trends like that. And then Little Nightmares three no. is horror. So October 2024 makes sense. Uh, you know what I've realized? What? You're lame. I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Go outside. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> Touch grass. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. You kind of wow. suck. <laughs> wow. You're kind of a nerd. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, uh, Wonder Woman 2025 release date, Horizon Zero Dawn remake early 2025, and Kingdom Hearts 4 with no release date. Uh, Austin's list contains... <laughs> <laughs> bro, hold on, I already know. Listen, my list is kind of insane, bro. Don't I, I have like Persona 6, <laughs> GTA 6, um, Monster <laughs> Hunter Wild. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's too many big games. Bro, bro has bro, bro has GT6 and Persona 6 in his list. He bro, he 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 really thinks Summer Games Fest is gonna be a massive event. Holy <laughs> crap. Bro, really bro th th this game's gonna be groundbreaking. Holy I really this want event. To take back. This okay. event's gonna be earth shattering. Holy crap. Please, John, can I take back Persona 6, bro? Not, no. It's it's over. What would you, <laughs> what would you what would you replace it with? All right, I'll be specific. It has to be a pipe, pipe dream. Because Persona Jet Set Radio. I don't know if I consider that a pipe dream. I don't think. I think like, that's somewhat me. likely. Oh no. Oh well. Okay. I meant pipe dream is like very, very, very unlikely. Like almost impossible. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Very unlikely that unless you want to switch GTA Six with Persona, I, I could argue GTA Six is a pipe dream, and then you want to put high uh yeah. Jet Set Radio in that place. 
for uh, unlikely. Yeah, I'll do it. Screw it. Okay. I'll allow it. Confident. I'll allow it. Just because if Jet Set Radio is there, it's going to be a hype moment for you and it'd be cool. It'd be cool. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, if one of them show up and it's not Jet Set Radio, I'm going to lose my mind. What if Persona 6 is there? <laughs> and you, you just got rid of that. What if? Dude. I'm not going to lie, though. I'll kill Jet. I, I think it's okay because I personally think it would be at the Xbox show. That's me personally. See... Unlike, uh, you know, the Bill Clinton kid, uh, I wouldn't have words for Jeff. I would have a, a weapon um, for What's him. the release date for Jet Set Radio? Um, I'm just kidding, by the way. 2025? Uh, or... Yeah, 2025 for sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, so Austin's list. We have Alan Wake 2 great. DLC with a shadow drop. <laughs> Okay, I'm just laughing because not only did I steal that from you, but just to be stupid, I was like, Shadow drop. Shadow drop. <laughs> you gotta shadow drop something. Bro, you, you, you could tell your list is out of the pure hope this event is fire. <laughs> bro. bro. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Low key though, last year was pretty good. If you okay, when I go through this okay. list, okay, no, 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 hold on. Prince of Persia, Mortal Kombat One, uh, Remnant Two, Sonic Superstars, Liza P, uh, Crash Team Rumble, Alan Wake Two, Baldur's Gate Three, Spider Man Two, Venom, uh, yeah, Power World. Uh, I mean, Banish the Ghost yeah. from Eden, like Fair a Dragon enough. Gaiden. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I mean that's that's pretty good. I I do think I went a little insane. Um, but listen, it's possible. I don't know. All right, so Alan Wake Two DLC Shadow Drop. Uh, mon <laughs> mon mon Monster Hunter Wilds with 2025. Okay. Replaced early 2025. I'm, I'm okay with that one. Oh, I have Jeff C. Radio. <laughs> the autocorrect is insane. <laughs> Jeff's Jeff set radio. No, Je <laughs> no Jeff C. Radio. Jeff C. S. E. E. Oh, 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 I thought you said Jeff, Jeff C. Radio. Jeff C. Radio. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought you said, I thought you were like, oh yeah, I have Jeff C. Radio. I'm like, Jet what? set radio with 2025. Drackling? Drackling? <laughs> Dr Drackling? <laughs> Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero 2024 and GTA 6 okay. 2025. That's not horrible. <laughs> it, that's not... It could be way worse. I, I ain't gonna lie. It, you, you, your wildest prediction might be low-key via Shadow Drop. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not gonna get Shadow Drop. Bro, dropped. I hope you realize. I hope you realize. If that happens, I'm losing my mind. I'm leaving the the like if 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 it's like at the start of the show, and 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 they announce it and it's like available now, I'm leaving the reaction and I'm going to play it like that's it, just how it's going to be. <laughs> it, it really is stupid because it would be it, it's a horror game. It would come out around fall, like. It's just, it's just likely. Realistically, I think it'd be like November. Oh, I don't know about that late. Well, it's a long wait for DLC. Well, eh, actually, no, that's considered like winter, though, right? Yeah, yeah, it it, it could be. I, I I consider fall like September, October, personally. I would, uh, I want to say October is a basic answer, but September feels more right. If I really thought about it. I can't do months, bro. I, I, it's so hard. It's okay, play. we have Shadow Drop. It's locked in. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's locked in. You might not be the... I don't know, bro. It, it could happen. You never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> you ne yeah. <laughs> what, uh, Sa Sam Lake comes uh, out, starts dancing, Sa and is like, Sa oh, no. Sa <laughs> <laughs> Sam, so uh, w uh, what do you got for us? Uh, we have Alan Wake 2 <laughs> DLC. 
out now. You, 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 you can download the DLC right now to experience the uh, next chapter. Uh, we are shadow dropping Alan Wake 2 DLC. The, the dark dimension. <laughs> <laughs> Wall and door. Oh, God. It features a new... <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. I'm just <laughs> hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm what sorry. What is going just, on right now? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just. I'm just. <laughs> I was just. I, I was just like thinking about what you said about like if Alan Wayne <laughs> is gonna be there and it got shadow drop. This is just you. Oh no. <laughs> No, I will lose my mind uh, though. I will lose my mind. That'd be amazing. Uh, I, I, dude, I, I, I get how you feel, man. Bro, I, do you remember how how I, just, how I reacted whenever they announced co-op for Returnal? Do, do you remember my reaction for that? Oh, dude, dude I, yeah, I freaking I erupted. God, I just, I'm gonna just stick with it. I love the fact that I've just been like, yep, you go shadow drop that joint. <laughs> I mean, you might be on it. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. I just always like to think there's gonna be one oh. game that shout it drop. Oh man. And I, I, I don't know. Oh, dude, that that was funny, yeah. low key. Uh, I'll guarantee you one company who won't be at the show, and that's Nintendo, because they're never at like these yeah. shows, bro. Oh man. All right. Well, now that we've done our predictions, do we? Is there any other just like random thing we we want to talk about p p predictions for the show? Just overall expectations. Um. I think it's going to be pretty solid, personally. I, I think uh, it's going to be okay. Honestly, I think last year really helped. Because I, I feel like before... I want to well, quickly check what 2022 was like. Uh, That was almost rough. That was like the one with all the space sci-fi games. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. And then, was, and, and, then uh... they, and then they ended on Last of Us Part 1. Yeah, oh, that was a wait, rough year. Oh, my God, they did. Year. Dude. Yeah, that that was a rough one. I, I, no, I really want you to hear out this year. So, Street Fighter Six character reveal. It's just a character yeah, reveal. It's, it's still cool, but... Okay. Oh my gosh. This is actually, like... Okay, hear me out. This is literally everything they showed within the span of an hour and a half, okay? Yep. Street Fighter Six character reveal, uh, Aliens Dark Descent, you know. Oh that one. yeah, yeah. We got trolled um, so hard. We got yeah. Callisto uh, Protocol. Uh, I, I, okay. I, I still love that game. Yeah, Modern Warfare Two. Ugh. Witchfire. Okay. Uh, oh, <gasps> I might Solace. actually be able to play that now because I play on PC. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Fort Solace. Oh yeah. That game came uh, out. No Outrider, one cared. Outriders, World Slayer. Ew. Uh, Fall Guys, Free For All. Okay. <clears throat> Stormgate. Uh, Marvel Midnight Suns, Character okay. Reveals. Cool, 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 cool. C Cuphead, The Delicious, Last Course, the DLC. Honkai Star Rail. <clears throat> Zenless Zone Zero Combat. Uh, TMNT, Shredder's Revenge. Okay. Uh, one Piece Odyssey. Metal Hellsinger, Nightingale, Warhammer, 40,000 Darktide, uh, Layers of Fear, Gotham Knights, and Last of Us. Yikes. Yeah, <laughs> like, last bro. year was a much-needed improvement. <clears throat> like, dude. 2021's wasn't bad. I remember that. They, end they ended on Elden Ring, so, I mean, you know. That's like a W. It's it seems like they forgot a couple things to put, but like still, it does not compare to twenty twenty. Like, yo, I'm not dude, gonna lie, bro. Think about this. Think about it. I don't know <clears throat> what drugs Jeff Keighley was smoking in twenty twenty two. They went from ending with Elden Ring to ending with Last of Us Part One 
to then ending with FF7 Rebirth. Like, how do you take yeah. that big a dip in the middle? Like, what yeah. the heck? That's crazy. You know, I, I don't know, man. I, uh... I personally still think my favorite Summer Games Fest was 2021. <clears throat> it just had a lot that's, that was that screamed toward me. Plus, ending with Elden Ring was just such a special moment. That was that was incredible. Oh, apparently they showed Death's Door. In 2021? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Came out in 2021, um, so... Oh, wait, no, that was for the Day of the Devs. I, the way they have this uh, format is so weird. This is formatted so weird. Tiny Teen is Wonderland, like who's also at 2021. I feel like 2023 cooked, bro. Yeah, it did, it did. It was honestly a lot of good stuff. I... Oh, man, okay. It could be pretty good this year. It could be. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it really depends on what they want. <gasps> Wait a minute, I honestly... I'm stupid. I might actually be onto something with Kingdom Hearts 4. Square Enix ended last time. At, uh, they did, but who's to say they're going to do it again? It could be the opener. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but it also could be Persona 6. <sighs> could be GTA 6. It could be the Alan Wake 2 DLC Shadow Drop. <laughs> I want to just say Silk Song really bad Shadow Drop, but I think, I, dude. Bro, that better be your, your number one pick during the Xbox podcast. You, you, no, it you, will be. No, no, you've, no, you've talked no, about it so much. It better be your number one pick. No, no listen, listen, John. I Imagine I, I flip heads I, and I steal it. I'm, you're gonna have to find a new co-host. <laughs> okay. I'm not I gonna mean, pick it I mean, anyway. I'm not. I'm, you're not. I'm not you're not going it. to. I'm not gonna pick it because you don't. Because you don't have faith. No, I. You don't, no, I think it's gonna happen. No, I don't know about Shadow Drop, but I definitely think it'll be. No, there. I. I legit think it needs to happen. I think it literally needs to happen. If it doesn't, I, dude, are I you not playing it? it? No, I'm playing it. No, okay. <laughs> I've got 10 hours in Hollow Knight. I'm no, 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 no. I'm saying, because you're like, it needs oh. a Shadow Drop. I'm saying, if it does, it isn't Shadow Drop, are you not playing it? No, I'm still playing it. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> it's that a joke. Like, it's a joke. I literally, I literally have friends that have actually told me, like, they're not hyped for the game anymore. I'm like, bro. Yeah. Like. Those are people who, they're, they're, uh, yeah. <clears throat> there have been games that have taken, like, so much longer, dude. Like, I get it. It sucks. But, like, let them cook. Let him cook. I don't know, man. It, we'll, we'll see. I feel like my expectations is I'm comparing them to last year, and it, it could not be as great. I'm definitely more confident for the other ones because I've thought about it, and yeah. I just I feel like I know what could be there more than likely. And I feel like it's hard because every company usually lets one slide through. And, and it's weird because, like, you know, you hear Bro, the Xbox One is going to be the wildest. That one's going to be the wildest. Yeah. Easy. Um, and I think it's weird because, like, PlayStation, I mean, they, they've they slipped through the cracks. Like, you would think, like, oh, PlayStation wouldn't show anything, but all of a sudden they show Spider-Man 2. It's like, yeah, what? I know. Like, they just, they just casually put its release date at, like, not their PlayStation showcase. It's like, okay. Right, like, right. Like it could, sure. it could just be something random like that, where there's just a random release date. It could be. Yeah, bro. Go. Yep. Yeah, go. Shishima oh, too. you know what's absolutely gonna be there with like, like a deep dive gameplay or something. What? Black Myth Wu Wukong. That, that's a hundred percent gonna be there. That's for sure gonna be there. John, can I tell you something? Yeah. I wanted to say that at the very beginning, but I said it's in August, and I feel like. I just don't know if they're going to show it again because now it has a release date. Well, if we look at all the past years, they do so many of those, like, updates. Like, M MK1, uh, Alan Wake 2, all that stuff. that They just, like, show it during the event to, like, give it publicity. <clears throat> that That's one of the things that, like, Jeff announces before the show on Twitter. Like, tune yeah. into the Game Wars to uh, see a gameplay... Um, 
eight minutes of gameplay from Black Miss Wukong. Something like that. I think I'm going to get one right. I'm going to say two. I'm confident. Actually, I'm going to say three. I'm confident in my first three. Visions of Mana, Borderlands 4, and Little Nightmares 3. Those three compared to Alan Wake 2, DLC Shadow Drop. <laughs> and <laughs> Bro, li listen, hear me out. Screw you for take. I was I will I will say one thing. I was going to steal Borderlands from you. Dude, so that, that's that's the uh, easiest shoe in. That's the easiest shoe in. <clears throat> if I wanted to be, oh, if I really wanted to be risky, I could have said Bioshock. It Dude, that would be I crazy. Could, actually, been, that would be crazy. I could have. I could have. Because imagine if it wasn't Borderlands and it was Bioshock, and I'm like, how's it feel, buddy? I'll, I'll let you uh, replace it. replace Dragon Ball with that if you want. Or GTA, I would low key consider Bioshock a like, like a pipe dream. No. All right, he's sticking with border, it. I think, it's, I think it's Borderlands Free, and I don't know what yeah. else Bandai would show. I think Sparkling Zero is Little Nightmares. Sport. Bandai's showing Little Nightmares, bro. All my mama, I swear, bro. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna have an October release date because I'm like that. Why don't you be like one month off every time? Nah, bro. I'm, I'm on the money. Guaranteed. I hope you know, if I get those three right, I'm literally a GOAT. Uh, congratulations, Thank man. you. Thank you. Appreciate this that. Is, this, this Summer Games Fest just seems to not be my specialty. I'm all about the... Uh, I guess I'm all about the, the main company nah, events. I'm, I'm still going to win those two. Oh, oh, okay, buddy. I'm letting you know right, right. now. You may have ho Hollow Knight Silk Song, but it is not as 100% as my, my my pick for Xbox. Well, that's fine. I mean, I I got my, I got my other ones, but that's like my pipe dream, you know. <clears throat> but I I think it needs to be shown, you know. But that's I have my sure. other things, and I, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident about. So um, I don't know. I I I think you've already won this one. I think, but you took a lot of the ones I'm pretty certain I'm confirmed on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, um, I, I will say, I went a little weird with Horizon and Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> that's, that, that is that, that's that's definitely some, some some deep shot. Wonder Woman? I don't <clears throat> know, bro. Where is that game? You know what? Okay, hold on. Read my list again. Let me hear this. Let me let me see. Let Alan me Wake 2, problem. DLC Shadow Drop. Alan Wake 2 is going to be there, not the Shadow Drop. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, nah, I'm so saying bad. the shadow drops could be there. Not nah, already do. <laughs> <laughs> Low key, bro. A shadow drop will be there. Yeah, they'll be like, hey, and for everybody who's wondering, it is available today. Uh, what's available? Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Monster Hunter yeah, Wilds re replaced. I think that should be there. Jet Set I Radio. Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero in GTA Six. I, I have a chance. You do. I could see. You do. I could see four of them. I'd have to pray GTA Six shows up. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think so, because um, they did their own thing for it. And you might have no. a chance, but the problem is, if I get my dates correct, that's an extra point. That's so gay. And bro, put shadow drop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? GTA Six shadow drop, baby. <laughs> you know what? How, how bad would I do it if Kingdom Hearts Four shadow drop? Make it happen. Oh man! Horizon Zero Dawn only... remake shadow drop. <laughs> I would not be surprised if that happened. You're crazy. I, I can see it. No. There's no way. I mean. PlayStation does not want to lose that much money. <clears throat> I, I guess. Yeah, dude, I, I'm, I'm low-key. I think my, dude, honestly, right now, my least likely might be Wonder Woman, dude. I don't know where that game is. That game is, like, non-existent. Plus, Warner Bros. is all screwed up right now. I'll be honest, man. I hate, I hate my list. <laughs> Your list isn't that bad. Uh, 
if you end up winning, we are coming back to this podcast, and I'm la- laughing in your face. <laughs> Why? Because you're over here, oh, I hate my list. It just means it just means I got lucky, bro. Maybe, maybe. Okay. You never know. D- oh, okay. Uh, do you want to like work together and see if there's anything we feel like we could have picked better? Like we never talked about. Oh uh, no, there was Warner Bros in there. Dude, EA, them. what could they show? What could EA show? Like Haze Light might not be that bad of a guess. I just think my. Mm, I just know I want to get Haze Light for Game Awards. I am so confident in that. I want it. I don't even care. What if, if I want it? Going. No. Okay. Noted. Um, um I, I, I do think we uh, we we could see some kind of like Tekken DLC trailer here. Um something like that. Or Oh my god, that is so cuz Street Fighter 6 was Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Street Street Fighter had yet to come out uh at, by by Summer Games Fest. No, but they they had no, but they had a a, a character reveal. Yeah, Guile. Oh. Yeah, Guile. Yeah, I remember I, that stuff. I, I I don't. Okay. Probably because uh, it was Guile. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he's he's okay. Um. He but yeah, I I I, I, I do I, I do think Tekken Eight could be here with like some kind of. Uh, <laughs> What do you think? Uh, I, do, I, I do think Tekken 8 could be right. Honestly, do you think... Loki, I have no <clears> idea. <throat> did Like a Dragon ever get DLC? Like, 7? Did 7 ever get DLC? 7? No. Okay, then I don't think 8 will then. Uh, dude, if it... <sighs> Bro, if it did... Yeah, I know you would be like me, oh, me, me with Alan Wake too, bro. Can you imagine if both are there, and we, 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 uh, we, we, we both get DLC for like our third fifth favorite games? I would love it, I would, but I just I don't see it. But at the same time, like I'll be honest, I would love for eight to get DLC, uh, cause I mean I think more content is better, but also just like. I don't know. I, I think it'd be fun, and I think there's some more stuff they could cover. But at the same time, I, I, they've, I feel like they've wrapped up everything, and I feel like they're gonna just, they're just gonna make nine instead. I definitely think like Princess Peach Showtime could definitely oh. get some DLC, uh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just joking. Just, just joking. It was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, Riot Game. Oh, I wondered would they show OKKO? OK what the heck is that? It's their uh, League of Legends fighting game. Hmm. I have no idea. You know, I could yeah. see PlayStation showing one 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 of those <clears throat> live service games here. Maybe, yeah. I could see that. Did we ever? Did we ever say? See, for EA see. Before? Here's the thing: if there is no PlayStation showcase and it just ends up being a lie, then I do think they are gonna be here, like with with, with something, yeah. like. For sure. No. Uh, did we ever say what we think EA would do? I mean, I said haze lights, but I don't think that's. They'd probably do one of their like EA originals type thing. Is would probably be my guess. But like, I can't even think what else, dude. That's why I was saying Titanfall three. Imagine, dude. Imagine. I. Uh, uh, I I have no idea, bro. I don't know what EA would even. I mean, because I don't think Iron yeah. Man or the Black Panther game are near complete. Personally, I don't think. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what EA is like has in development, you know. I know. I don't really know anything. They canceled one of their Star Wars games. Yeah. The next J- Jedi game is nowhere near. Yeah. Um. I. I have. I have no idea, bro. I, I look. You think EA is like in a really like. Just dry it's spot so, right now. It's so hard. I don't know. I feel like they feel could like show the next Madden. Beat. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I I feel like he I feel like he had me beat on this. I I don't feel very confident. 
I feel you. I I think you're very confident, and your and like your your release dates even I think is even like terrifying. I low-key think if I win, it's because of my release dates. Really? Yeah. Cause I I do agree. I think you 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 might get three to four points because I I think three three to four of your games will show up. But I think yeah. I think my 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 release dates are on point personally. I I think I think what really sucks is like. A lot of the time, like I said, for Sega, I would usually pick Sonic because usually he's at a lot of Jeff stuff. Yeah. But I, if I heard more, Sonic I X think, Shadows is probably gonna be there. But the thing With is, the release it, date. It, was also, it was also at the PlayStation. Yeah, but that, that that's a state of play though. It's it's just an advertisement. Oh my God, you're so right. It comes out in the fall. There's not gonna be anything else. It's gonna be there. I threw. All right. Well, end the podcast. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. All right. Well, anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, Okay. (laughs) Well, (laughs) thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely like. Yeah, this is going to be the end of the podcast, though. Um, Very fun. Um, There are our Summer Games Fest predictions for the most part. Oh, wait. Do we think any kind of like hardware is gonna be here? Because I remember one year they were uh, they announced the Halo Infinite Xbox Series X. All right, bro. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> like, I uh, probably not. Yeah. Well, anyway, that yeah. is gonna do it. I don't know what else could really be at the show. Um. Yeah, it. I, I have a feeling we're, we're in for a lot of like just random surprises. Is my guess. Um, I, I think it's gonna be maybe, a very uh, random show. Yeah. Um. Maybe Foam Stars Two. That's a possibility. Legs. <laughs> we could get legs. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Suicide Squad Kiss the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if they show like the next character for that game there. Oh, oh, Lord. the amount of hate that would get. Yeah, bro. Oh, so you know what might are... might actually be there because it's getting a lot of advertisement right now. Uh, mul- multiverses. Yeah, but I I don't know. I dude, I they I'm not gonna lie. That game, a, th- that game had a lot of hype, and uh, oh man, I don't like it anymore. I really, dude, have you seen it? No. Bro, it is so slow. Like, it, it, it is, like, it's like grandma agonizing slow. <laughs> like, they've, they, no, they literally, like, changed, the, like, the. All I know is, like, uh, Jason Voorhees is gonna be in it, which is kind of, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a Jason shirt right now. Wait, what? Yeah, Jason. Did they show that in the new trailer that he, came out? Yeah, he, he's, like, standing right next to Joker. Oh, that's funny. I know it's pretty cool though. Like I, I, I Loki just want to try him out. Like if, like when it comes out, because I love Jason. Yeah. <sighs> I, I haven't watched that trailer, so I don't know. I um, I, I don't know. I, I'm definitely not as interested in it anymore. It's just because it looks do, so slow. Ooh, do we think we'll get some kind of like TV or movie adaptation like trailer? Arcane? Uh, no, I don't think we're. <laughs> it, it comes out this year, November, I think. That'll be or... at like a net. That'll be at like a Netflix event or something. Yeah, probably. I um, I could see. I don't know. Last of Us. No, uh, maybe. It's yeah, possible. I don't see the happen though. I think it may be next year actually. Oh, uh, but they could do it early. I would, hmm, Sonic, uh, Sonic? No. I think that's too early. Oh my god. I think it's No, because it's in December. This December? Yeah, this year, December, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is supposed to come out. Oh, snap. Oh. And it was at, what was it at? It was, it's been there before. It's been. It was at game, it was at the game, game, game awards. Sonic the Hedgehog I 2 did. was at the Game Game Awards. 
It's po- honestly that might not be a bad shout. Yeah. Yes. Sonic the Hedgehog three. That might be right the. Now. That might be the, the the Sonic thing that shows up. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog three has a release date of December twentieth, twenty twenty four. Well then, yeah, I definitely think we could see it there then. Well, yeah, dude, I it just oh that means we might get the go Keanu Reeves. Oh, dude, that's Shadow. Oh my I, gosh, dude. Up, bro. Uh, dude, I am so high, dude. <gasps> they are, dude. Listening. No, it's gonna be a double advertisement: Sonic X Shadow and then Sonic the Movie with Shadow. It's gonna be a freaking double advertisement, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say I threw for Jet Set Radio. Um, I'm going to go to sleep and go cry because I just fumbled the bag so hard. I'm going to wait until 12 so I can pre-install Hellblade 2. <laughs> Sorry. just I'm, I'm too excited. Dude, Loki, should, should I just pull Old Nighter and play it now? Dude, imagine. That'd be crazy. I'm not going to do that. I'm just it's a stupid. I'm idea. just sad. Yeah. I have some, uh, I have some freaking, um, God, what are they called? Um, oh my God, what? Uh, oh yeah, I had some enchiladas in the fridge. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, we're going to wrap up the podcast there. We're going to go on a tangent and never end the podcast. And uh, <laughs> You go enjoy you some enchiladas in the fridge. You know? I'm not going to. I'm not. Uh, no, that's breakfast. You do you, man. That's my three okay. three thirty a.m. breakfast. Hey man, it it could be worse. I basically have chicken every morning for breakfast. So. I could not have enchiladas. That would be worse. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and the podcast. All right, thank you so much. All right, th- th- thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Next episode will be Friday. We're gonna give our review on Hellblade Two. I mean, I don't. I'll for sure be done with it. I don't know about Austin, but uh, I I should I'm gonna I should I I want I'd like to. Um, if not, it's okay. Probably by the next one. Um, but hopefully we definitely by the, by the next one. We'll, we'll we'll for sure at least talk about it. Um, yeah. And then whatever news, because usually during the week we get a lot of news, so we'll be talking about all the news, Hellblade two, uh, and then next week is when we'll do our next uh, predictions. Um, yeah. we'll just do them all on Monday. Uh, we'll just do a, a prediction video every Monday. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, ladies and gentlemen, and hopefully- oh, Mario South Thousand Year Door uh, review will also be for Friday. Uh, for yeah. me, at least. Hopefully, um, uh, specifically, like, I know he's not been available, but like, hopefully during event season, hopefully Chris, we can get Christian's opinion and stuff too on the stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. We'll see how things go. But uh hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Uh, I'll let uh, John uh, segue this thing out. Yes, sir. Enchiladas in the fridge. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like. Leave a like. In the comment section down below. And please subscribe. This is Player Way. Remember, just enjoy video games, guys. That's all you got to do. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Johnny Murrow. Peace. See ya.